All right, everybody. Welcome on in. Been a while. Been a while since I've been live on the YouTube. How's it going? You know the drill. What are you drinking? What are you drinking right now? I got myself some ice water from Wawa. If you want to keep up on my Wawa Coca-Cola freestyle machine flavor reviews, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok. Got myself some ice water from Wawa. Ice water mukbang like the old days, right? Michael B. Betty, how's everyone doing? Uh, what did I see here? Uh, we got Just Jamie with 37 months a member. Hot dog. Can you come back one time per month for me to send these? I'll try, I'll try. We got Sakura, 27 months a member. Poop. All right, thanks so much. Thanks so much. We got H Tops, 31 months a member. A Wilda, OMG, the drama. Eye lips, eye. Very nice. Very nice. Susan, 69, Whoa. welcome to I'm Wildo. Wow. I'm flabbergasted. No, really. Thank you Did so you much. Did you food prep the water? No, I just. I got it right after I got the. Um, one third Coca Cola Zero, one third Barks Zero, one third Diet Dr. Pepper mix. And let me tell you, it was great. It was a great mix. How's everyone doing? Yes, two, a couple hours ago, two hours ago, Amberlynn uploaded a We Broke Up video. Now, if you haven't been keeping up uh, with with my Twitch streams, this is this is this might be some disappointing news to you. I haven't checked up on Amberlynn in a week. The description says we're going to have a ton of videos to watch. I got like a good hour and a half of Amberlynn to catch up on here before before the 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 main event here before the title bout. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, you didn't have plans, really? did you? Did you have something going on? Hardcore goth kid, let's fucking go uh, with the with the super sticker. Thanks so much, I appreciate it. Very nice of you. Oh wow! Oh my god! Yeah, you should be banned here too. Really, if we're if we're gonna be real. Uh, okay, real quick though, real quick. I'm and, and you know I'll speed it up a little bit. You know I'll skip the sit down talking stuff that's so annoying. So hopefully we can get through it all pretty quick, and then we'll get to the the main event there. But um, what are you drinking, real quick? We got to get that out. Um, what are you drinking? What are you? Oh, I got top chat on. Let me make sure live chat is on. Just see all the riff raff in here that YouTube deemed unimportant. Okay. Baja Blast, very nice, very nice. Off-brand Diet Coke from Walmart, very nice. Ice Cold Coke, oh, must be nice. Squirt, drinking Squirt, how's it going, Maya? Diet Coke, very nice. Water, margarita, tap water. All right, this tastes like tap water, honestly. Raspberry Lime Seltzer, pretty nice. Cran Raspberry Juice, ooh. All right, sweet tea and lemon, very nice. Liquid death, I love a liquid death. I like the lime, the severed lime one. I also like the armless palmer. Bet, 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 bet. Tea with cardamom, ho, oh, ho, very nice. Coke Zero with lime freestyle. Let's go, Skooma Cumberdale. Uh, BT, uh, really? there it is. Yeah. What's the women with that lately? Destiny voice, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Classic Destiny right there. Thanks so much for the super chat there, BT. I appreciate it. I don't know. Hey, Brie, how's it going? Okay. Cherry Blossom LaCroix. Oh, my God. What's that taste like? Okay. Finally caught my first live. Let's go. Nice, nice. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome on in. Hi, if this is your first live, hi. I stream a couple times a week on Twitch. Sometimes I catch up on the latest Amberlynn on there. Sometimes watch them. We're, but we're also going, on Twitch, we're also going through all of the K's cooking videos from the beginning. 
very slow process. Um, okay, all right, all right. So let me, hopefully the screen works okay. That good? No one wanted to say, oh wow, nice new curtains that I just put up? No one wanted to say, oh, very much better, much better than the, than the teal curtains. Anyway, make sure to like the stream, so true. So true, okay. This was my 9-11. No kidding, Aaliyah. You were really rooting for them? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like my 9-11 was probably 9-11. <laughs> um, we got seven videos, but you know how it's gonna go. I'm gonna speed it up, I'm gonna skip the annoying stuff, and we have a grand finale of We Broke Up, okay? Um, we're gonna start making bets on, if I was a gambling man, we'd have to start making bets on, uh, how long till next wifey, right? Anyway, anyway, so glad to see everyone here. I don't even know how many people are in here because I closed that tab, but... Hi, hi, check out Toxic Lake, uh... Merchandise, your your souvenir, toxic like merchandise. Get the hat. You know I had to go full, full pedaling today. Okay. All right. We got w <laughs> weight loss surgery update. Let's talk mukbangs and feeders. This sounds like I'm gonna be skipping like ninety percent of it or something, but let's find out. Wait for sure. Yeah, a bunch of people have been picking up stuff lately. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, th thanks for keeping me going. Uh, okay, a month tops. Yeah, yeah. I think I don't think she would survive more than a month without another person. Uh, sy symbiotic. She's symbiotic. That's the technical hello, hello. <laughs> technical Hi. term there. Hold on. One second, gotta get all situated here. So we're watching weight loss surgery update. Let's talk mukbangs and feeders. Vlog upload nine days ago, June twenty seventh, twenty twenty three. Codependent? No, no, no. Symbiotic. Actually, parasit. Oh yes. Okay. No, yeah. It is not a mutual. It is not a mutual dependency. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Um. Yep. 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 So we're gonna get started with this. You all feeling good? We are all ready to do this. You've got your beverage of choice. Make some popcorn or something. Love how this live is in your recommend in my recommended. <laughs> this 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 show any good? This show any good? What's anyone seen this one yet? This 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 show any? All right. Um. Lee Hoyland cover of your beautiful Kay's cooking Lee. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We are watching the breakup video today. So I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this, um, for complete clarification. One more time. I have a total of seven Amberlin videos to catch up on. We're going to get through them quick. I'll speed it up or whatever. Skip some, uh, some boring stuff. And at the end we will get to, the breakup video I have not seen yet, okay? Let's get it! Hello, hello! Hi, hi, hi! How are you? How are you? So, welcome to a new vlog! Good, how so, are you? So, today I said in my last vlog how I have a lot of important phone calls to make. So, I'm gonna be making those. So, the first one is I'm about to call the place where I got my chest x-ray done. Um, I got it done like a week ago. Um, so I'm gonna oh, get my this... results for that because I'm curious. Oh, whoops. Clicked the wrong thing there. Uh... So is this thing still happening now? Like, is, uh, so far where I'm at in the timeline, it seemed like the weight loss surgery is off. They, that seemed pretty clear because you didn't want to talk about it or whatever. To see what they say. What so is this chest I'm going to do that. That's the first thing. Okay. So I called and unfortunately I have to send an email asking to be part of their portal to get my results because I you guess know, a lot of people they gotta they gotta send emails they gotta make calls on a daily basis they can't tell me over the phone don't so usually think to make it a that, whole thing which I'm doing right now <laughs> on my hair laptop 
Hey, not and then Tina. I am going to laptop? call... Oh, laptop. Relevant to uh, where we're at in the Wadalber episodes. Um, a lung specialist. Supposed lung pain like again. Ah, yes. It's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to pronounce it, but it's like a pulmonary moment. So I'm going to call and see if I need a referral. A pulmonary moment. So that's my next step. And the email is sent. Yes. So I'm going to go do that. Okay. Another yes, update. we all have health, um, health uh, coverage troubles. And I was right. You do need a referral. Which I thought, but if I could skip a step or two, I'm definitely going to so do that. So true, so true, the healthcare system. I actually called my primary care doctor and I made an appointment, so I have that set up. It is kind it's not like far away. No weight loss um, surgery, no wifey, like only constant is mustard. soon enough for me, and so I think that, you know, in a few days I'm going to call and see if there's a closer appointment because I know like people cancel and stuff. Which so they also true, so true. Pass, so I gonna uh, do that because I she's just a, I really want She's in quite a rush for all this. this I mean, out. I know we tried thanks, last year Sikora. to get it figured out, and after tons and tons of tests, we thought we found what was wrong. And turns out, I think we were all wrong. I, <laughs> you know, doctors aren't. Personal are opinion, I hate that choker. It looks like it's a bunch of staples around her neck. I really don't like it. It would freak me out to wear that personally. That's just my opinion. They're not perfect. They're amazing, and they are heroes. But looks um, like have to be realistic. looks like her head is stapled onto her body like fucking Frankenstein. And, yeah, anyway, so, just anyways, my opinion. I <laughs> boogie 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 boogie. Very very special phone call. Fucking I'm also nightmare waiting for that to email me back. Um, I had to fill out another paper. My bugs, my um, bugs. So we'll see. I want to get my results. Yeah, sometimes Hi, you sometimes you gotta fill out a paper. Sometimes you gotta make a call. It's a crazy society we hello. live in. Hello, it's been a hot minute since I've talked to y'all, and I just want to let you guys know that like the more I do this fasting thing, the easier it's becoming because I haven't ate in sixteen and a half hours, and I feel fine. Like I don't Who even feel hungry. Who told you to do this? Like, at all. Who told so, you to do kind this? Of loving that. And that brings me into the next thing. Like even doctor now says, like make sure you have those three meals a day. That I want to talk to you guys about is like calorie counting. So I noticed when I was calorie counting the first couple of days, um, I all the food that I'm eating is like so filling and it's like nutritious and it's it's not a bunch of like processed stuff. Uh, who are so you trying to convince with like this? Super full, super fast, and like I was forced again. It's to, like, again my calorie goal because my calorie goal originally was two thousand, and she, I she just says this to convince herself. Oh, guys, you won't. I it is so filling. It's so nutritious. Two thousand calories. I love so this. I realize that I'm not going to count calories because. When you stop all the processed food, like all Me? the processed food has like chemicals that literally set your brain on fire. Like Me? it has been proven. It like doesn't understand. Your twenty ninth birthday, butt chug, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I was gonna say I was gonna say, Oh, my birthday is coming up soon, but I hate when people do that. I hate when people are like, Oh bro oh, birth my birthday. Oh, what about me? Me, me, me. Etc. So by eating all this like <laughs> happy raw birthday, veggies, especially butt chug. and just like good proteins and just whole foods like obviously i'm not perfect but is she telling me to stop the daily wawa coca-cola freestyle beverages things it definitely helps with like my hunger cues it helps with my full cues my brain isn't like on fire because of all the processed food so it's like i have been forcing myself to eat are you trying to convince myself to eat i want to just like listen to my body so this is me saying that i am no longer counting calories because it's just it doesn't make sense at this time right now oh okay in any sort of way you had to want to say one more thing before i end this clip i'm not counting calories but I am paying attention to them and Feline even asked me the other night she was like what is like the difference but I think she understands now too it's like say I'm having steak I want to look at the calories I guess and Feline I know was just how done at this point so a serving, no point because that's arguing. a good example of like how easy it is to like eat a ton of calories because steak is so much like higher in calories versus like chicken or tilapia especially so it's like paying attention and like counting them are two different things but yeah I had to Fucking share that but still acknowledging what from? is going into my body and stuff like that and no way am I going to overdo it, especially because I'm eating so many like whole foods and things that just make me feel better. Birthday's okay, you guys, so I have a grocery haul. Nice, um, nice. This is just some chicken thighs and then two things of ground turkey, some tostadas, two things of Fucking traditional what? refried beans. Got Those are oh, the ones with lard in them, the traditional ones with the fucking lard. <clears throat> Interesting choice. You know they make vegetarian they ones. They make and cottage cheese. <laughs> you could do what you I want. Mean, you could do what you want. It's just interesting you chose the ones. Like in potato. The beans that things. have lard in them. And serving could have just had calories. beans. So depending on how hungry I am, 
I usually have a serving. That's not like, like a, a me criticizing. A That's a, like. So, I just got two bags of those, and I, don't I wanted to try some if you have the mini peppers in my cottage cheese and mustard. I feel like it honestly sounds so good. I do like those peppers. Uh, they kind of freak me out though. I'm afraid there's garlic. gonna be a bonus pepper in them. So, Hate a bonus pepper. Sky Valley Sriracha. Sriracha. All right. Some uh, sugar-free salted caramel. I love salt in my fucking coffee. Okay. Syrup. And then over here, some okay. stuff, some organic coconut unsweetened. It's just coconut milk. Uh, milk. You don't have to say so delicious, dairy free. Some scallion, egg, broccoli. Uh, yeah, that's just Feline's trash. I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember getting this. <laughs> okay, um, all right, all right. You Feline's right? gonna be making some jumbo shell pasta, so she got some of that and some sauce. So some of this is Feline's, like when I do the grocery hauls, um, we do eat kind of differently. So when I do the grocery hauls, I also show some of the things that she got as well. Okay, okay. you guys, so I'm What'd about to end my get? fast at 18. Fuck is that? What did you do? What is that? What the fuck? I see the mustard, I see the cottage cheese. Did you, did you cut the, the chicken with a fucking hole cutter? Hours. What is that? Which I don't even know how that happened, but it happened. I just wasn't feeling that hungry. Hole punch. So here is my food. Let's eat. So we're gonna do a little taste test okay. of the sweet pepper. Oh my god, we never got the recipe for Daddy's pasta. No. When's when, when's the Feline YouTube channel? I cut up too, because I have a feeling I'm gonna like it. Um, just fill that sucker up with mustard. It's like it's a it's a vessel with the for your mustard. mustard. So let's try it. You know what? Mustard, great low calorie little thing to add, add a little flavor to your food. For someone who cares so much about sodiums. Damn, that was crunchy. Got some sodiums <laughs> in them. You wanna try it? <laughs> mustard shot glass. Yeah. Just brimming. So just brimming with mustard. Last night I made a stir fry and I had baby corn in it. I love baby and corn. I had leftover baby corn that I'm also going to try with the cottage cheese and mustard, so let's give that a go. Everything that you put in it is just going to taste like fucking cottage cheese and mustard. It's not some fancy hack like putting peanut butter and chocolate together. It's just, it just, oh, now it just tastes like mustard and cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Eric Airlines is <laughs> going. I just realized I normally have, like, fruit with this, like half of an apple, or some strawberries and i forgot that's okay though all right okay. so the rest of what i'm all having right. is carrot who cares who gives a fucking Broccoli. shit who could give a fucking Radish. shit my god celery oh i don't care green olive with garlic pickle and of course chicken sausage what on right. earth so i think it's time Let's talk about weight loss surgery. So I finished my 12 sessions. I was approved by my therapist. I then was approved by my dietitian. And my next step- Oh, hold on. We're getting into the thing now. We're getting, let's listen. Was to meet with the surgeon to talk over everything that I've done and to set a surgery date. I would say it's been over a month where I have felt disconnected from weight loss surgery, like I wasn't ready and there is a lot of personal reasons why I chose this decision. I have chosen to postpone weight loss surgery. Destiny was I right. I fucking hate to admit it. I, I goddamn hate to admit it. Destiny was right. And said, I don't think she'll go through with it. I don't know. I don't think she'll go through with it. All I know is we got to get that kitty a hot dog. A lot of people saying that I was not approved or I was like declined. That is not true. I emailed my dietitian. I felt really bad. I explained the situation I'm in, you know, the decision I made for myself. And I felt bad because my dietitian replied and thought it was something to do with their clinic. So she like gave me the number to call like the clinic's like head honcho for the lack of a better word here. Um, because she felt like maybe it was something they did. So, you know, if I is there is, the, is them, it like, a lack of a better like, word? What they could fix and stuff like that. And I was like, no, it's nothing y'all did. You know? <laughs> it's just a decision that I need for myself and made for myself. There's a lot of personal you. reasons that made me come up with this decision. I am not saying that weight loss surgery is never going to happen. I'm simply saying that it is postponed. Do you think, for okay, so is that, is the, is the, um, is, is the hypothesis here that Feline was like, oh, so now you're not doing any of this shit. I'm a head out. 
for now. My dietitian said that even though but I have Jug, decided to, to Wilda, it, I'm still happy, wow. happy birthday patient. to I'm me. Yes. They will always be there for me. They will wow. always be there for me. Whatever no, help really. I need. Thank you so much. Whatever guidance I need, and I just appreciated that so much. I was y'all on Threads. Y'all on the uh, Facebook version of Twitter? Very scary. It's wild. To let them know about my, it's a wild my time. decision. Follow like, me even on now, that. I'm just like stumbling on my words because I feel so bad about the whole thing. Like, I was putting a lot, of, a lot of hard work trying to get the surgery. And I know that a lot of you wanted me to get it, but I realized, like, in my gut, that there was a lot of things telling me not to do it. And for a minute there. Of all the things that she could be. <laughs> The, of all the things that she could blame on mental illness, you know how she loves blaming things on her mental illness? I, this, I feel like this would be one where it's like, okay, hold on, hold on, let her cook. Stopped thinking of myself. And, and she's just like, eh, got felt feeling in my gut, didn't want to. I was like thinking of everyone else and how badly everyone wants me to be a success story, and I got that. But going under for surgery is very scary at my size. And minus the other personal reasons why I've chosen not to have weight loss surgery right now, I think the reasons that I am displaying there right now, Discord. I feel like you that is enough. It. And I feel like as long as I should be validated nice. in the way that I feel. Hopefully my words will not be We're, It's a dismissed. soft opening. I feel like that's definitely it's a soft happen, opening. I, I finally feel better again. I feel like me again. I am able to see a bright because, future regardless regardless because you i'm putting work in she is free because she canceled regard you ever cancel plans and it's just like the best feeling you ever had in your life like oh my god now i can do fucking nothing today Amazing. like you guys see that honestly weirdly enough i haven't ate this healthy in a very long time let's just say years <laughs> like the way that i'm currently <laughs> eating now i haven't ate this healthy in years and that is even after Cat. welcome to Wildo. thanks to for awesome. becoming a member appreciate it so i just wanted everyone to hear that from my mouth this literally had nothing to do with being declined for weight loss <laughs> the link expires in an hour not approved I love that. it's actually the opposite <laughs> better which be is quick kind of mind-blowing that i'm the one who said wow you know what? I don't I'm flat there it is there it is wow <laughs> no really thank you so much so I'll, I'll say it one more time this has been a couple of minutes now i have a lot of videos to catch up on with amber lynn at some point within like an hour and a half we'll probably be up to the breakup video i don't know if i'm ready y'all just so, so we're excited. all aware so i'm sure you all have heard about the freaking Thanks, stanley cup or tumbler or whatever it's called no i think i finally got one i've been thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it where's your coldest and I the water and i got it so let's open her up oh my god i'm so excited as if so I is this, get it is, it, is it actually a fucking cup? As if she needs another fucking cup? I was like, you know what? No. I'm gonna get it from the real deal website. So I got it from the actual website. So this is how it's wrapped. Oh, <gasps> she buddy. is beautiful. As if she needs another goddamn water bottle. Holy. I have been drinking so much water. And I also haven't told you guys that. Quencher. I haven't had a soda in almost a week. That's a, it has been the, almost the quencher was my. I have not touched a single lick of anything other Quencher, than water. I hardly so, know her. This is going to help me get even more water in, even though, girl, <laughs> I've had plenty. So this is the Quencher H2O tumbler. Um, Don't care. I'm in the middle of a load. Always remember to clean the little lint thing out. Okay. Oh, yeah, put that into your little lint box, her, her little container specifically for lint, because apparently it doesn't just get thrown out immediately. Dryer between each dry. I didn't even learn that until probably like a decade ago. So I was like 22. Some people don't know that. So. Okay. Yeah. I, know. I mean, I guess it's the, if you read the instructions for the dryer, oh I guess you'd know. I do but. add quite a few dryer sheets. I have like four at a time. Just. I add zero usually, but okay. Enjoy, enjoy. Makes my clothes smell so good. So I am in the middle of listening to a video. I consider it like a podcast. It's not really. A podcast it's get the fucking airpods out they're gonna end up in the washing machine seems like one but it's not lost socks seeking soulmates i get it i got the it. brian koberger case and honestly i'm for having cameras in the courtroom obviously because i personally i want to watch the trial who's I fucking courtroom i know a lot of people have different opinions which i understand but I'm definitely for it, for sure. How, what, why would you get a say in any, what is going on? So now, I just thanks, put it on 80 thanks minutes. for your opinion. So I'll run it once on 80 minutes and then I'll run it again on about like 
55. Takes like an hour and a half for you to do a load of laundry. That All right, you guys, we're in my closet, so that means it's time for a closet clean out. So let's get rid of some more clothes. And yesterday I only got rid of one, so hopefully maybe like two today, because this this is filler. This is filler this. content. So I actually is, will be keeping it's just this. A pastel color. That's fine. And vegetables, fruit, etc. And the yellow one is oh, for vegetables. What on earth is? So I'm about to cut me an apple. So I'm actually just like thinking. What is the lore on this device? I've had a few people contact me saying like how I'm doing mukbangs again and how I'm eating for the feeders. And all I can really say is, trust me. Does anything hold that down on the cutting board? If that was the case, feeders don't want to see me eating carrots. They don't want to see me eating. I think they'd like to see you eating carrots. <laughs> they want to see Bananas, me eating like cucumbers. cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets and Chinese food. I think you'd be surprised. And things of that nature. They're not wanting healthy Amberlynn, trust me. They ain't getting off watching me eat. I hate, I hate seeing your cut things. That. I hate seeing your cut things. And it just goes things. to show that like, I feel like I can't even exist as a human being because if it wasn't for my weight, me eating the little- oh, I'm sorry, why can't you exist as a human being? Because people on the internet complain about your videos? You can't exist because of that. That I do on camera. People like a bit dramatic. A okay, you got. Okay, about, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting a little distracted. But you're getting into a rhythm. I don't like it. I don't know. It's just frustrating. It's like it's just hard to exist as someone. Why are you cutting my apples size, with the like shank? Sometimes, and it's like I'm not even eating unhealthy. I'm eating healthy foods. That has just been on my mind. I'm <laughs> moving away from glass cutting boards. Is huge personal growth. Yeah. Okay, that's a win. Right, when you cut, I don't like how it looks a little slippery, but. And super like thin things like this it feels like so much apple it's crazy a lot more surface area and at least. to continue the conversation oxidizes a lot quicker but hey i, get, I see what you're getting at bites on camera is definitely not a mukbang hey, so i will stand by that and yeah but i am here to end my vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one bye nope uh we got the fuck um wrong thing uh dollar tree shopping Lipedema struggles and non-scale victory. Is that like hello, a is hello. that like a large scale victory? A non-scale victory? I thought there was a weird thing coming out of her AirPods there. <laughs> anyway, get these captions on. We're cruising right along to uh, number two of seven here. Two of seven. I should have put an itinerary on the screen like for my other stuff. Okay. Oh, uh -oh, how y'all doing? <laughs> um, I'm about to do my makeup. I haven't been doing makeup very, lately. Very puppeteer like, vibes. Make... Puppeteer vibes with the with the uh, tight black face, like slim top there. Because I noticed a few breakouts, and usually that only happens Anyone puppeteer? when I uh, am wearing makeup too much. Like I was wearing makeup for like days on stage end. hand, and my body said no, no, no. So yeah, so we're gonna do makeup today. And if anyone needs a suggestion <laughs> on a foundation, the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, I promise. It is dewy like, and Smooth? Okay, I'm not going to do hardcore Steve winged Jobs. eyeliner, but nice that's a turtleneck. <laughs> so we'll see. Oh, Twinkie just sneezed. Bless you, baby girl. Bless Pouring you. Pouring the product directly into the bristles. Well, today is a fan favorite. Not weigh in day, but I wanted get to get a all, look. Get that all in there, the deep scale in is there. Moving. A lot slower but than. But what do I know? you think but you do have to realize that like Scale everyone's is calories moving? is different there's like a machine you can actually go on um everyone's calories is different to see like your true metabolic rate and all of that like because everyone is different oh, like, they, like it literally you up to all those things and make you run has or to do something with so much i just yeah. got foundation on my earring <laughs> love that but Ooh. to top it all off i am a 32 year old who had a full hysterectomy who went through menopause i have no estrogen <laughs> like Anyway, what else is going on? At a... Hello, okay. beautiful people. I am oh. currently doing a Lego. I am doing, doing Lego? this one right here. Momo? Starry Night. It's the one that Feline got me. I took a Lego break because I just love Lego so much that when I get like super obsessed with them, I literally can't stop. So okay. I have a couple more Weird, but um, okay. in my queue that I'm going to do, so I'm excited. I have them all set in this. So, yeah. Queued up Lego sets, of, okay? I don't know. 
how many actually. So it's a surprise to me because I don't even remember because I actually put these in here in order. Like, Learn a, long time a ago, skill. So. But yeah, this is get a fucking so life. It's actually so fun. Oh my god, I've missed <laughs> doing Legos so much. Ooh, I just put those two pieces together and now she looks Learn like this. Learn to code, and if you're Amberlin. Where these little marks are on my um table. It's just um sure. eyeshadow that literally will not come off. I've tried to clean it hardcore, oh, okay. but. Look at it. There's like little houses. The standing oh God, desk. So All right, you guys, I'm about to break my fast. I like to break my fast with this meal because break it. I feel like it's super nutritious. <laughs> and also there's a lot of protein. Is that a pickle? It's satisfying and it's filling. So after not eating for so long, this is how I like to do it. So Get a life. everything is about the same as usual. Get but I decided like to cut some onion because I had some left over. So I'm going to try it with onion. This is just onion. Some <laughs> everything so onion. is just going to taste like fucking mustard. And cottage cheese, but let's and whatever you dip give into her a it. Try. It's I, not a hack. You know, some of you find the um, segments where I'm just. It's not like putting cinnamon on an apple. It's not like, like a new a, flavor on lot. And then like editing out like all the chewing. Some of you find that satisfying. So no, I find it satisfying. no, no. This tastes for food. Zero calories. Duh. Ice is zero calories, fun fact. So I do have my scale down, um, and it's teared to zero for everything. Yeah, I've used so a, scale a banana before. is 105 calories, but I'm going to round it up to 110. Kind of, I had to feed my sourdough starter yesterday. So I'm just going to pour. I teared it um, to zero, by the way, after I put the bananas in. So okay, that okay. is 251 grams. What does it matter? The servings. 240 milliliters. So How did she pass chemistry class? I have this unit where I'm able to click that. So the serving is 240 milliliters for 120 calories, but this is 251 milliliters, as you can see here. Okay. So I was just about at one cup. So for 240 being 120 calories, I'm just gonna say for the oat milk, I'm gonna round. You, you, there's, there's a flaw. There's a flaw. The results are. <laughs> Are are corrupted by the the plastic bag. It up to hey, Larissa the peach. Okay, so now I'm gonna tear it out again. So it's at zero. Tear it out. Next is PB two. I'm just gonna pour what I feel is right. So a serving of this is 13 grams. So I'm gonna use a little unit. Oh my god, that's exactly 13 grams. I love that. So here you can see. Okay. 13 grams. Now, is this the shake that she was making when Destiny called? Or it was the last and the one? the serving is probably the last 13 one. grams. And so that's only 50 calories. So let me write that down here. PB2, 50 cals. Why is it moving so like that? So now I'm going like to tear it out again. Vanilla extract is next. And vanilla extract has no calories in this brand. Just for the funsies of it. Keep watching. I I'm going to say myself. 5 calories for vanilla extract. So I'm not going to total just up for the calories fun. yet. Let's just make All a right. smoothie. And then we can total it up. So I like to mix it What's a little bit. What's the point of the fucking vanilla? Also, so much of it, I feel like, right? First, it's about to be loud, but I am going to edit out majority of the blending. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so... Fucking dumbass. Just fucking... Just, yeah, just... Lower the volume in that part or whatever. Fuck off. When I make a smoothie, <laughs> oh my it's always God. for both Feline and I. So whatever the calories is, it will be split in half as well. So since the banana was frozen, it doesn't... <laughs> why, is, why am I getting explained to this like a fucking five? Enough. Five. Yeah. Dividing that into two is seven calories. Seven, oh, wow. seven <laughs> calories. Calories. And I had looked up... The brand of uh, vanilla extract that I use in a lot of places said zero calories, but it's like Google can be wrong. Okay, this is so what I did. This was is I took a bad sign. And I scanned it into my. This is a bad sign that we're trying to find the exact calories of vanilla extract. Fitness pal, and it's actually twelve calories it's, for four point two grams. And uh, that's was, that can't be healthy to be worried about the calories in the vanilla extract. Filming, I actually did measure that. Thank God, and I ended up using eight grams. So. This, um, add on another 24 calories and this, then divide it by I think this might be the most mentally ill thing she's said. <laughs> to say, to be, thank God I looked to make sure this is the calories, the vanilla extract. I choose 12, so then uh, for this it's about 160 calories, not 100. 
he watched the retro react highlight video with my husband in the same room. He asked what he was laughing at and it was just easier to tell me farted than explained in verse. I forgot that it's in French. Ashley, thanks so much for the tip of the 420. Very nice of you. You just didn't feel like... You just didn't feel like including your husband in that uh that aspect of your life. Understandable. Understandable. People ask what I do for a living, and I was like, don't worry. <laughs> just don't worry about it. 45. Or whatever it was. Either way, it's below 180, which is pretty shocking. It's below 170, really. Okay, you're, you're, you're done. You're done. With the roads, I swear to you. But it was a moment. It was a moment. I don't think I've I said in to do a French. Dollar Tree haul so many times. It's windy. I hope you guys can hear me. So many times. So I'm finally doing that for the people who are asking. So let's go. They have literal sandals here. I feel like they won't fit. Literal me. sandals? You're kidding me. Get the fuck out of town. Pack your shit and get the fuck out of town with that one. Sandals? I have some white feet, so these type of sandals are horrible. Because when you step on them, they like hurt right here. Guys, okay, there's the wrong shoes. Wrong shoes. You need flats. These are so cute. Don't like them. They have so many to do lists. Oh. No, 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 no. You're good. Oh, you don't need dreams. that. She's getting Definitely distracted. No, 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 no. Stop touching them. You don't Let's need look them. How cute that is. No need. No need. So I picked don't up something. Touch. And I said, oh, this is cute. That's my aesthetic. And Feline was like, she walked away. <laughs> but, oh, wait, 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 Look at this cutie. Oh my God, love. Wait, I think it's so cute. <laughs> if you want right. to buy a broom at Dollar Tree, you got to buy everything separately. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Well, this got to, if it's got to be a dollar. Tell, but I'm telling you, this road. Maybe, maybe just the handle broke. So that's all that you need to replace it. Road is a roller coaster. There is like a million. A DIY broom ups and downs like you know that feeling like where your stomach feels like it's like falling Clean fed up yeah it's just done i don't know that's exactly the way i describe it yeah but it like feels good and you're like woo. yeah this road is like that and it's like hardcore like that this is beautiful kentucky folks trees upon trees and land upon land you can't really see it wait you're about great to great day to get in a fatal <laughs> accident right there for you this is the backwoods kentucky <laughs> where's Not the really. woods this is, like pretty side i feel like what do you think of it babe Farmland. The farmland. <laughs> this is what you think of? Oh, this guy looks like cotton candy. It looks so pretty in the camera. So gorge. But yeah, I love trees. Like, it's my fave. It's looking pretty compressed, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, it's high levels of compression, actually. Looks kind of shitty. Alright, we want to listen to music now. <laughs> we are officially back from the Dollar Tree, and we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags? This, Dang. Is, this feels so unnecessary. So we were at Dollar Tree for an hour. It feels good knowing that I can go into a store and be in there for an hour and be totally fine and not out of breath. The only downside is my legs are so Then you have to be in a store for an hour. <laughs> Swollen because as you guys know, I have lipedema slash. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, um, all right. And right. wrap it up. I get super swollen, obviously, and plus like gravity, so it makes the fluid go down and it just swells me more. Gravity. So that's the only downside, but it's just like such it's an amazing scale victory because I think of myself like 2019, um, some of 2018, some of 2020, where I couldn't even stand to cook. I couldn't even stand to cut up a freaking zucchini, and now I'm walking in the store for an hour. So it's like those non-scale victories, like they matter a lot, and I don't know. It just feels good knowing that like I can improve my stamina and. I can do even better than that. Like, I can't wait for the day where my stamina improves even more. Because obviously, at 32 years old, I should not be like, oh my god, yeah, I can walk in the store for an hour. But like, with my experience, my story, what I'm going through, I find myself to be very proud of that. All right. Okay, that's over. You guys listen to Imposter New Mix by Willow Davis. Check it out. Check it out. We're moving on to weekly weigh-in. And huge, we're at, we do, doing weekly weigh-ins? Holy fuck. Huge Dollar Tree halt. Hey guys, welcome to another Sounds vlog. Sounds like a skip. So today I woke up in a lot of pain. Um, it started yesterday, like Stream last night. Stream imposter new know, mix on problems. Spotify, Apple and Music, last year, YouTube. And my lung problem, it also radiated, like the pain radiated to my shoulder. Radiated. So that is now back again. Plus it's radiating down to like a little bit below my flanks. Um, is that the word of the day? I mean, like right here. 
So Bro, yeah, the pain is flank. so bad. It's like when I breathe in, it used to be just when I breathe in, but now it's like certain movement. Ugh, it's just me. They did coughing and let's there. Do. Let's do the stuff that I got first. So I got these there taco minis. Go. They are dog treats for Tony. No. I got some ocean explosion cat treats for Rarity and Wasabi. I got some Downy Calm okay, Labrador Bell Bean scent booster. Good fucking luck, Twinkie. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, delicious scent infused so stenchlin, stenchlin. This is just a scrub where you can put soap on top. Um, I want to put soap on here and like scrub my sink. I think it's time that my sink is a good. Scrub. I would I would simply put the soap where it's supposed to be, when I need it. So I got some Q-tips. I will be using these to like help with like, makeup or whatever it may be. Uh, but these are infused with rose oil, which I thought was super cool. And plus they're pink, so that's adorable. I got some pink. I would simply buy rose oil if I needed it. Lemonade lip balm. And then in the same brand and shape, I got cotton candy. So I'm excited to try those. I got some more okay. lip balm. I like to keep my lips feeling soft. And so does Colleen. So she'll probably snack some of these. This is pineapple. It's nourishing lip balm. And it's cute. Can you, it, like, can you put that on the rest of your skin? <laughs> I so this is a charcoal infused like texture body scrubber. So I thought that would be fun to try. So I got that. I also got okay. a floral ex ex Exfoliating. God, that word is <laughs> hard for me. Bath love. I love using these. It's just Why like. Why don't you just sound it out? I don't know oh, I what to tell you. Um, I got her the peanut butter flavor filled dog bone. No. No. <laughs> Why would Twinkie need a peanut really? butter filled dog bone? Thanks for the company. Hey. Cooking this vegan recipes. Two cœur. Ten vegan. Why ten? Ten? Polter Geisha, thanks so much for the super chat there. Very cool, very cool, appreciate it. Ten recipes. I, I've, I, don't, I don't think I've ever cooked ten recipes in a day. It's long lasting, so this is gonna take her a while to eat. I got these super cute dog waste bags because when you take Twinkie Potty, obviously you don't wanna leave your dog's doo doo outside. So they have bags around our apartment complex, but I like to carry our own. I got some loose eyeshadow, it's LA Colors. Yeah, and yeah, dog owners will know that you have to pick And this up is in, uh, what color is this? Okay. Snow White, it's an intense shimmer, so I'm excited to give that a try. I got some pens, so it's three colors per. Ran so it's out three of different pens, purples, you were out. Three different, like, totally mints out of or pens. teal blue colors. And then Run three different website, ones. Planning I got some oh, cherry wow. nail filer and you nail on, clippers, like a manicure. You on threads yet? Seen a lot of, uh, seen a lot of, uh... Set. Here's just a container for my pens. Vegan I have a bunch content of pens creators where I like getting to onto threads. Chilling, doing their own thing. So I figured I would get something that would actually hold them. So it's just like a container like this. It has flowers, rainbow. I don't know why Twinkie we needs a, super a for the bone box. full of so peanut butter. So this is a bath rug, but I will be using it in the kitchen because we needed a new one, like where the sink is, where you do the dishes. So I went through all the journal aisles, all the notebook hey, aisles, Sean. and I did not get anything at all. But then it was right at the checkout. I saw this journal and I thought it was so adorable. It has like peppers and like little Chinese noodles. I don't know. I thought it was so cute and I had to get it. So Felina and I have a bunch of why plants. So we needles, both picked out little like, Chinese? figurines and to put in the plants. And I got this cute little bench. So I'm excited to show you guys in a vlog like how we put it. Hopefully it'll be cute. I got two the lollipops. Um, these are just like nostalgic. I never ever finish them. So don't worry about sugar calories. Like I don't know why, but it's just weird. Um, I got pina colada and then I also got an orange. Don't, don't orange. worry. Don't worry about the lollipops, but let's get the accurate measurements on the vanilla Creamsicle. extract. So I'm excited to try those. Okay. I've had so okay. Long. And the last thing I got is this Harry Potter collectible figurine where you have no idea which one is on the oh, inside. So wow. I'm going to open it later. Actually, Fuck JK Rowling. I guess you don't give a shit about any of that. That All wasn't right. the last items that I got. I also got two of these. Thanks, They're like Marigold. mug bowls. Um, I really like big bowls like this for like soups or chilies or just really so anything. Comforting. I just prefer anything out of stuff like this. So and I also got some freezer pops because it's that time of year. I All always right. get these. Um, sure, you guys will never whatever. Eat, like, serving, okay. which shocks me because I usually eat one or two at a time. That's it. Six of these is a serving for only 90 calories. That shocked me. I never really paid attention to the calories before, but now that I'm noticing, I'm like, whoa. Okay. So now it's Feline stuff. She got some tongs because we needed some new ones. She got a hair bonnet. Oh, it's see, I, I got those tongs. And I'm like, whoa. I, okay. I think so now it's Feline stuff. She got some. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that was pretty much like exactly those. They're nice. I use them for all the stuff, and it's all good. I still gotta get solid metal tongs because you can't like reach into the oven with these bad boys you know tongs because we stuff need like ones. that she got a hair bonnet it's in this really pretty like emerald color so i love that she got three of the charcoal scrubs that i got she got some taco socks <laughs> okay Wait to see how she pairs this with an outfit but then she also got some fish socks <laughs> I'm excited. I don't Who gets know. gets a fairy I, garden we'll in the break of great socks. question. She got some washcloths, gray and white. She got three soaps. She got oatmeal and coconut, a charcoal eucalyptus, and an oatmeal and verbana or verbena. Verbena, I think. Verbena? Nirvana. Okay, verbena. Verbatim. She got one, two, three. <laughs> These are just like lens wipes. She got this brain teaser. Okay. There was like three different options, and this is the one that she chose. Can I just take out the containers to show them better? 
Oh, you did it before. Fucking touch so Lynn. Touch like. Lynn. Whoa. I don't really know. Like, do you take it apart and then you have to put it back together? I think so. Have fun with that. She what do you fucking think it does? Thingy. She got one with dinosaurs. This is the one that I wanted too, but I wanted us to have like dinos. Different ones. So dino she got Lynn. one with dinosaurs. We both like dinosaurs. I love that about her because I thought she was going to think I was like this, a big nerd. This sudden suddenly spawned a dino Lynn. For liking dinosaurs, but she also likes dinosaurs. But you're a nerd too. Nerd nerd. How are you doing? You just wake up. Nerd too. So here's her little um, mushroom figurines that she's gonna put in her plants. She wants to paint her nails, so she got some black nail polish. She got some wax Classic. melts. She got one that's wax called energy, melts. and then one that's called train. Stench, stench, feline, stench lean. Well, like I was expecting it to say like a scent, but just energy and tranquil. She also got a little lollipop. She got green apple. She also got a Harry Potter figurine, and she also oh fuck, JK got some cool pops. So that is everything we got from the Dollar Tree. Guess a lot of stuff. And I was trying to move that. through that quickly, so this wasn't like a super long segment. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. You guys, I had to give you an update on my starry night lego this has been oh you think she's now she's gonna have time for the animal crossing island i'm ready i'm ready to see it one of the hardest legos i've actually put together surprisingly uh it has came with its own uh set of challenges but i am thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it okay. and i love it so far and it's not even it's not even done it's not even done i'm so excited to see what else i, I hope it's create not this done. beautiful masterpiece but i wanted to give you guys an update okay you guys so i have an appeal box in a few days so let's do that oh, versus this package boy. here so mike sent me some earrings which he has sent me earrings before and he has written me like a card so get a life mike mike i definitely recognize your name and thank you so much mike don't send me the carrot cake coffee cake so there's these flower earrings we also have Please, them in no black food. and white and then these super colorful earrings with like balls on them they're so cute Candy. and last but not least balls on a them? pair of earrings that are acrylic which i think you heard me say i love acrylic earrings which is so nice of you um it says love simp that is so simp. cute thank you mike so much <laughs> so next is another amazon package so this is from brianna which is a breakfast journal this is so cute i remember having oh. breakfast journal like over a decade ago which is like the black cover i did a few oh my god like this is so upgraded like it's colorful on the inside now oh my god this is amazing like i remember doing um okay. a few pages more little and act stimulating activities really loving it. so thank you so much for this journal brianna i appreciate it so much and i hope your name is pronounced brianna or brianna but either way thank you thank you thank you so next was a letter and a postcard from someone named tatiana and first of all you are so freaking sweet and just the things you were saying i almost got a tear to my eye and thank you for opening i up wish i could know well. what they were so saying so she did ask me three questions brianna. so i'm gonna answer them first one would you get any body mods if so what so i like piercings i used to have snake bites I uh, took those out for one shift at work and they closed up. And that was after me having them for like six years. So body I don't know. I guess my body yeah, I'd like to like, get night vision in my eyes. Like, you know what? I'd I'm like, kind of uh, over it, but I kind of miss them here and there. There is a piercing like, I want to get, but that is a secret. My fingers. Um, I do love tattoos, but I'm a chicken. I will be getting tattoos You're eventually. Chicken? They're going to be small, cute, dainty, da, 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 but like, da, 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 I'm just like, kind of afraid. Next question is, do you play The Sims? I played a long time ago because I liked using a cheat code to have unlimited money because I like to build my house from the ground up. Oh, so okay. that was a long time ago. Third question is, have you watched Breaking Bad? I watched like the half of the first episode really so that's all i've watched but thank you so much for the letter the postcard and for just being so okay identical dressing oh shirt, get the fuck out of water. here with this actually so, will be keeping racha. this there's a little bit of rice on the bottom so that is this looks like it was cooked in water this looks like a patented cooked in water lynn my main meal for the day actually my last meal i might have like a little snack maybe an apple or something and then i'm gonna fill my got way. some basamadi rice at the bottom for you guys while uh, trying my first bite of food, it dribbled on me a little bit. So I actually will be keeping this. Oh, I am going to change before my way in. So continuity, folks. So when you see me wearing something different Part towards the end, meals. it's because I changed my clothes. Okay, so me and my little swatches will be right back. Okay, hello. Back with something Whoa, else. Oh, that I transition. Like Let's go. So let's do my week one weigh in. I'm super excited. So today is actually day five of no takeout, just drinking water. I have cooked every single meal myself, which reminds me um, in a recent grocery haul, I said how Fleen and I eat differently. It's because I requested that I cook my own foods. I kind of do my own. Or maybe this because she doesn't like you that much anymore. Own thing, because I'm really trying to like just save my life. And by doing so, I need to be kind of like strict with the things that calories. Okay. That sounds good. What like is this? What is but I did count calories on my what smoothie, is this? so I actually got permission to share this. So if you see the screenshots here, here they are. Hey Amber, I want to make this smoothie, but I am only eating 1,200 calories a day. Can you show in your next vlog how many calories it is by weighing everything? Don't mention me though. Thanks. What do you mean you got permission to share this? 
Talk to you later. TTYL. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I saw the comments. People are frustrated that you're showing calories when you say you didn't count them. So now they're calling you a liar. So feel free to share my <laughs> suggestion if you insist. By the way, I saw redacted. Amberlynn's reply, redacted. A subscriber wanted to know how many calories were in that smoothie. So I was like what on fucking earth was the point of that? What is the fucking point of that? Okay, um, of course I'll show you. So that's the reason why I did it. And it was kind of cool. Like, I'm kind of glad that I did do that and that it was suggested to me because, like, mainly it was suggested to me for them. But I got to see myself, like, how many calories is this smoothie? Because me and Feline do have it every single day. So knowing it's so low calorie is pretty awesome. So I recommend it to anyone who just, like, needs that, like, sweet tooth, like, milkshake one. You, you recommend a protein shake? So if you want to, to see people. that smoothie recipe, you can watch it in my last vlog. So anyways, it, I recommend a protein shake. So every Wednesday, I'm going to try to do a weigh-in for you guys. Fun so hack. is week one. Last Wednesday, I was 526.2. For the first couple days, I was like staying the same. And then I gained some weight. And I'm like, who is she? Like, what is oh, happening? Oh, that's higher than I remember well, being. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I just no. remember Elway, she was Elway, like, Davis. wasn't she like right around 500 for a couple of months there? 2021 i'm down Only about 49 pounds subscribe. so i'm going to do some like mini goals and my mini goal is i just want to be 499.8 i really want to get back in the 400s and then we'll focus on going lower once i get there so it is pretty late i do want to end this video so gotta edit it and schedule it for you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one bye okay that's another one that's another one down we're, we're catching up we're catching up four more videos three more until we're at we broke up i'm very excited hi <laughs> What a great reason for me to be so here working it's so been a late. Bit am I since right? I've been awake, but I just wanted to start so my vlog like check and say my hello. Email hello. I actually have my doctor's appointment today for doctor's my lung, so I am definitely going to request to see lug? a pulmonologist. But I'm, I'm getting closer at uh, pronouncing that right. A lung specialist. A pulmonologist. It's just okay. important to me. Right. I need to continue advocating for myself when you know something's wrong with your body definitely advocate 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 it's super important so after Who's gonna my wipe the butt? appointment you it's gonna have to be we're you gonna go to goodwill and donate oh, these boy. dishes you guys They're got any newspaper lying around or anything you guys got i don't know any spare cardboard you can slap between those anything like that some of those dryer sheets? I don't know. Very nice set, but we don't need them anymore. All right, good luck. Since... Good, good, good <laughs> luck with that. You guys don't no no newspapers, no old magazines, a uh, couple of paper towels you didn't really need. But we definitely prefer this over this. This just isn't Imagine you. they got an accent. These are friendly. These are just complicated. So we're gonna drop off this box. User fucking friendly. The plate. What is, what is the what is the flaw in the plate? What on earth? Marigold with I, I it'll it'll pop up there in a second. There it is. You are the funniest d'Amberverse. I agree. Cœur, Whatever that was. Thanks so much, Marigold. I agree. I very much agree. I think you're absolutely right. And I appreciate the super chat. After my appointment. All right, so Fuck. we have dishes clattering in the back, but I just got done with my doctor's Fucking appointment, and now idiot. we're at Goodwill to drop off Fucking those idiot. plates. Yo, that they're actually broken. Set. So if y'all know where this Goodwill is, now see, I think from the bottom of my heart, I I think Feline knows better than to stack a bunch of plates two feet high. And drive around with them. But I guess from what we know now, she was probably just so fucking over it at this point. She was just like, yeah, wh whatever, sure, sure, we're gonna drive with a fucking two feet, two foot tall stack of plates over to Goodwill, sure. <laughs> really? Yeah. You've got an astro so many heroes, my oh. croise. Mary Cat, thanks so much for the super chat there. Very nice. You do so many errors. 
People are saying they want me to start the Destiny <laughs> Destiny era after the Becky era is done. Like what? Like a year from now? You want like <laughs> come and fetch you some new uh, some new dishes? Okay, so I'm about to break my. <laughs> I'm sick of the fucking pile of mustard on the goddamn plate. I get it. I know it's there. Almost 17 hours. Love that. And I'm gonna break it with. You like the French Mandarin. We, we love the French. <laughs> you like the, the French speak? Uh, Carrot, asparagus, radish, accent radish, thing. Brussels sprout. Sweet. Fourth of July was two days ago. You know who I'd like to thank for America's independ independence? The French. Sweet pepper, pickle. They annoyed, they annoyed the British hard enough that they were like, fuck this. We don't want it oh. anymore. Olive with um, garlic, broccoli, chicken sausage, Mustard and cottage cheese. I'm sorry, <laughs> babe. Stop. Can we please dip a mandarin into the mustard? She's all about. Fuck you for not helping us, though. You remember, you remember the Freedom Fries era? What was that about? Like France didn't want to contribute to like the war on terror or something, so we were like, "Well, they're not gonna be French fries anymore." Oh my butt, man. So. Okay, Flea, please, I, please, please, please stop penetrating um, Amberlynn while she's trying to, to eat her cottage cheese and mustard. She hears someone outside. Okay, baby. Get some of those industrial fans going so she can't hear it. That's what I do. Yeah. Put the TV on, fan going. All right, so I just got done eating, Close and I wanted to give you guys an update on my doctor's appointment. So my doctor was going to actually give me a diuretic because... Last year, you're gonna be shitting here i did have some fluid on the outside of my lung but she said that since my blood pressure is normal that the diuretic would actually lower my blood pressure and she didn't want to put me in a low oh range. my god what about all your what about all your water what about all the water that you hold on to so dearly it's gonna be gone <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I want that either. But I am referred <laughs> to a lung specialist. Well, <laughs> I was gonna say she could have just had a small potato. If she, so I am. If she, if she was trying to so shit. So glad and so happy. Just, just, that, I would just simply choke on a small potato. That my doctor listened to me. I just appreciate this doctor so freaking much. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the next step. They prescribe diarrhea. Are just waiting for the phone call. They're gonna call me. I haven't taken Metamucil every day. It's lovely. So I just kind of have to wait around. I don't know if that's going to be today or in the next <laughs> few days. But regardless, I'm glad that that step is done. I will say that my pain is definitely still there. But it's not as bad as yesterday. Well, just uh, live with the discomfort. Yesterday was like a 10. I would say today is about a 6. Okay. So well, You don't have to tell me. It does feel a little better, but it still hurts. So I want to give you guys an update on my Lego. I am almost done with it. Look at this. That's pretty Isn't cool. That beautiful. That's pretty cool. I didn't know it was. Gonna I come feel like with it must like have a, cost a um, hundred something bucks, a right? Little outside frame. At least. Like it's looking so good. I still have these pieces to go right here, and then this bag and this little guy. And it'll be completed. So I'm probably actually right. going to finish that up like today. Probably soon. All right. So we're about to take our little figurines and put them in our plants. Figurines. I'm doing the one with like the bench. And she has some mushrooms. So we're going to show you where we put them. So when... Yeah, I, I would like... We know, how come she didn't vlog the 10 on the pain scale? <laughs> that just hit me. You guys are right. A 10? The worst pain you can ever experience in your life, you think? The worst pain you've ever felt in your entire fucking life yesterday? And you're just like, damn, this sucks. This is awful. Anyway, how are my Legos doing? We took them out of the package. We were like, dang, this is actually really good quality. So this is where I put mine. The money tree. Look how adorable. I think that is so cute. And then here's the welcome one. Sorry, the lighting, because obviously we are facing the window. It says welcome with mushrooms, and then... How would Van Gogh react to an ALR video without context? That little guy there. Some flowers. Know. It's so cute. <gasps> Should I edit that out? He'd have, he'd have to, um... He'd have to convert it to mono audio. <laughs> cute. 
out. <gasps> Was that a, a nasty burp? A belch? Is that a belch? Ren twenty six. Let's see. Let's let's hear them read it out. Really? There it is. Okay. Figurea. Sure, close enough. Thanks for the super chat, Ren. Can I edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to edit that out? It's up to you, baby. Wait, can I keep your bur burp in? That was like a 9 out of 10. That was impressive. <laughs> a 9 out of 10? I'm kind of proud Not of a it. 10 out of 10? Not the best you've heard in your life? Okay, I'll keep it in. So Not, it, it, The burp wasn't as good as your pain yesterday? We're about to go to Target. So let's go. Okay? Okay. All right. Do you need this? Oh, I don't have enough candles. Wait, get it? It smells... The way Amber is interacting with wifey doesn't seem very mutual breakup to me. I, I hear you. I hear you. So good. Let him cook. Let him cook. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. You guys, look how cute. We're in the greenery. Sorry, baby. I thought this was so cute. Can you still call it greenery? this tree right here. So adorable. Right now, all we have in the cart is water. And towels. Oh, so we're buying water? Okay. I'll do like a haul. I'm get home. I mean, hey, I did buy some water thingy? today. No? Okay. Oh, look how cozy. Seems low. Is she in a scooter? I have too many blankets, but I'm a blanket fanatic. walking. So this is the real reason why I'm here. I really, really am itching for a Lego. So I just wanted to take a look. How, how bad is the itching? Would you say it's a 10 out of 10? I've just done so many. Why don't you get the backlog done and then we'll see where we're at. It's like, we'll one which one ones backlog, haven't I yeah. done? So I'm going to take a look around. I've never done this one and I love this one. So I might be getting that, but we'll see. 100 bucks. So Feline and 100 I like bucks for the Vespa. do this thing where we guess how much it's going to be. Her first guess was over 300. First of all, I did the math wrong. <laughs> and then my guess was 240. No, it wasn't. At it first. Was 245. We're going to we're, we're gonna... not talking about at first. <laughs> Feline's like, I don't, I'm fucking out of here in a couple days anyway, so. <laughs> okay, we're not talking about at first. So my guess was 245, and then yours was what? 265? 260. Okay, hold on. You're right. You're right, Amber is not giving we're about to mutually break up vibes at all. It came out to 240. <laughs> She's deeply in love. So I was right. See, I'm the Tarjay queen. I don't get anything wrong at my home. Get away from me. <laughs> I just had to share that. I feel like that was a little sincere. Does anyone else do that? Like with their partner where they like guess the price, see who's the closest type thing. Um, so yeah, now Sometimes. we're gonna go on our way home. I'll do a little haul for you guys, and I did get a Lego, but it's not the one that I said that I was going to get. Be shocked. Okay. I'm not going to be shocked. You could have the fucking Millennium Falcon. I would not be shocked. Guys, so I'm about to make me some food, but before I do so, I'm actually going to make some tostadas. I'm pretty excited. But before I do, let's do Ooh, the Target haul. Tostada. So we have been wanting to add Yellow Suns on it. Hello. That got me. So we got this really big yellow pillow. For our statement check. How come you didn't get the, like, what, what is the fucking pillow she has? Like, merch moment or something it says on the pillow? Air. Oh my god, you guys were falling for a minute there. I don't know if you noticed. And then for the couch, we got two matching yellow pillows that are smaller. So those can go on the couch. It'll look so cute and it'll tie together. Hey, I got Nicole. two gray um, towels. Oh because no, those are I, very similar to the color of my towels. I had some pink ones that I got rid of because I was slowly pink? getting rid of them. I didn't want to get rid of pink? all my towels at once. I bought pink towels when I first moved into this apartment, which was, God. Fuck yeah, Sarah Butler. Like That's right. And my aesthetic has slowly changed over the years. <laughs> Not really into the whole pink towel situation type deal. Yeah, we're, we're going to watch the, um, the break of video. This, after this one, there's two more videos. Then the next one's So I want to get video. new ones. We're flying through it though, don't worry. Celine Never wore her merch once. Yeah. Also got some new towels. So Look she at got me. Two Look black at towels. Me. <laughs> they were just thrown in the bag, apparently. So so the kitty litter scooper that we got uh, from the Dollar Tree the other day, which people were saying that because there was an Easter sign that it was old footage. I'm gonna tell you right now, that footage is not old. I'm actually like Don't so care. ahead on my footage. I could and not I have care less. 
if you're peppering in old Dollar Tree footage into your vlog. It's been for a while and I've been daily uploading. I don't know, I just feel good mentally, but taking my Zola. New towels getting ready for a move. Treating my body better, so I've been filming more Interesting. and uploading more. But yeah, I think- Interesting thought there. I'm still shocked that Amber's fears of seeing quarter even with a filter. TF. Buchla? Buchla? How do I say it? Thanks for the tip there. Very nice. You thought 420. Still shock atmosphere sink water. I I usually I'm I'm usually drinking the Brita water. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe she's on to something, you know? I gotta return those those big five gallon jugs. I, I like that more. Tastes better anyway. Filter, the filter's just supposed to work, like, right? Old stuff out. I think <laughs> I saw some Christmas things. It is what it is. But anyways, the litter box scooper, the holes were too small. So we had to get a new one. We also got this like ah, the litter I know, couldn't I fit even through. Know what do you call it? What do you, rotating storing tray. A carousel. <laughs> so it rotates know. when it's sitting down. There we go. You guys can't really tell, but for fucking what? I think I'm gonna use that for some of our seasonings. I got these really cute choker necklaces. There's like a Spice star, and a heart, cabinet? It's Spice cabinet. Spice cabinet. Anybody? Them. I just thought they were super dainty and adorable. Feline did end up getting that candle that she had me smell. It's cactus blossom, aloe vera, lime, and prickly pear, and it smells heavenly. So I'm glad we got that. And then Feline got this super cute mug. She has coffee every single morning, and she also has tea every single night. And she only has a couple mugs, so okay. she got this one. Super cute. How come she didn't get the mug with Twinkie on it? We also got water. Yeah. And then last but not least, the Lego I chose. Oh, oh Dino Lynn! So if you guys know me, wow, Dino love Lynn. dinosaurs. I am a Jurassic Park nerd. I no, what? I feel like if you were, I would have fucking heard about this. What are you talking about? Absolutely. So I got this Jurassic Park one. It was a little calling yourself a nerd or something is a bold statement to make pricey but it was worth the price because 1200 pieces i was standing in both the lego aisle like i consider myself a pokemon nerd probably i'd probably say that but like i will get fucking schooled on trivia or something for a hot minute just like pricing putting together which ones i would like the most slash which one has the most pieces so it all has to come together. Oh, like, oh, like, that's a like fucking great one, Wauma. Oh, you like dinosaurs? Name five. I bet you. hundred dollars. I only have nine hundred pieces. And Luckily, I played Ark Survival of all. So it's like, you know, you really have to like put two and two together. So this is the one that I ended up choosing. I'm so excited to build it. So now I'm about to make my tostadas, which I need my tostada. We'll start talking about Animal Crossing again. Oh my god. Does that happen? The <laughs> fucking go. claw! I'm short, so I gotta oh use that. Oh my god, the fucking claw. So, got some tostadas. Oh yeah, my beans. I'm gonna have refried beans. This is gonna... Oh, the one, the traditional ones, the Hello. one with lard in so, them. So I just got done with dinner, and I was watching back a video. I'm so <laughs> sick of the AirPods. I'm so sick of the AirPods. You guys don't talk to each other, or what? This is dirty right now because it was used today. Oh, my alarm! I have to go take mine's aloft. Um. Okay. Dirty. So I was editing a video, and I said that the yellow one was for vegetables. I meant to say fruit. And then yesterday for my weigh-in, I said that it was day five of. No takeout. Just drinking water. Is this cooking a, for myself. I'm gonna I meant skip. to say day eight. So I'm a flop. Um, today is actually day nine. I misspeak a lot. Um, no kidding. It's just who I am and what I do. So yikes on bikes. So if I ever notice that I misspeak or something like that, I'm gonna clarify. My pay, my bills, my bills are oh. Of course, Pukasaurus Rex love dinosaurs. Pukasaurus Rex. That's a good one. Karina, thanks so much for the uh the the the, the tip there. I appreciate it. Medicine. Very nice of you. Thank right. you, everybody. So I'm about to take it. Don't forget to take it. And if you are really bad at taking it, set an alarm. I've also had a lot of people ask, which I want to answer now, 
um how much did i weigh like how much more did i weigh at my weight loss surgery clinic Don't care. PlayStation type deal, and i weighed about three pounds more only because of my clothing um both the scales were accurate but when i weighed myself with clothing here and when i weighed myself with clothing at the weight loss place it was the exact same so yeah if anyone wanted to know i know some people were thinking it was like 30 pounds and i said girl no it was just three pounds because of clothing and shoes etc hello hello so it has been a couple hours since i last with you guys and i forgot i wanted to open my harry oh. potter collectible so these are the ones I'll let's see, see. Let's see what you, you let's see your fucking fuck JK Rowling figurine. <laughs> and obviously I want Hermione. I would love Hermione on her broomstick. Oh so my god. Let's open. How do you open? <laughs> okay, not like that. We not hate like that. JK like, Rowling here. This shut. Look at my hair. Ooh, yeah. She's going to open it and be like, "I actually you're not really sure who this is supposed to be." With a pen. I've never oh, actually seen or read. Shut. 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 Applause. It just said applause. I got Hermione on her broomstick. I would love Hermione on her Is broomstick. Is she blonde? That would be cool. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. No, 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 no. What are the pull rates? I need to know the pull rates. Fuck off with that out of one, two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. Pull rates. Pull rates. I would have loved a headwake too, but I got what I wanted. I actually kind of love that. Makes me want to do some tarot reading, which I have been doing tarot reading. I've been doing one a day, asking it a question, and just like holding the cards close to her and just connecting with them. And it's crazy how we need to get her some Pokemon cards. A non-biased angle, like whether my the tarot cards say something good or something bad, that's not what this is about. Like it could tell me something shattering. It's just like when it comes from the right energy, that is when I believe tarot is real and true, and the universe is definitely speaking to you. But anyways, I do want to end this vlog. I've been vlogging so much lately. I don't know what has gotten into me, but it's been fun. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting. Don't care. Don't care. How where? How could she rant for like another minute? Okay. We're going on to I ate McDonald's and my dietitian emails. Proof and receipts. You're telling me you ate emails? <laughs> Grimace shake. Grimace shake. Grimace shake. This game this 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 show any good guys? This show any good? Should we watch this next? Um you should watch my video veganizing the what the grimace shake and what I assumed it must taste like. Hey up guys, on my channel. welcome to a new video. So normally, you know, Let's get this I'd be coming quicker. at you with like, hey, day ten and no takeout. That's true. You do usually oh, start the videos with a hey. Hey, no, I can't. I under ate yesterday, hardcore. And my body and my mind if I fucking hate sickos. felt it. And when I under eat, I I don't know what happens, but I don't I don't know how to say no. And I tried for hours. I kept telling myself, don't do it, don't do it. Just make something at home. But then it was like so late, and my fast had already been going for a few hours, and all this mess. You you, know. you built this. You built this. No one made you fast. You decided this was the plan. I ended up ordering takeout. I did. I ordered McDonald's. You made the no takeout rules. You made the <laughs> the fucking fasting rules. I did. No one forced you to do I this. Um, I obviously, <laughs> I, I regret the, it. The grimace shake. I feel a little bit of guilt, but I also know this is a lifestyle change. I never gave myself like an exact you know, number of how long I want to go without takeout, nothing like that. So I didn't fail anything. There was nothing to fail, but I definitely did want to come on here and be like, Hey, day 10. But it's the first day where I ate during my fasting. I had takeout, but I didn't get a soda. So I'm still on day 10. No soda. It happened. And I woke up. You hit up that Coca-Cola freestyle. I was like, damn, I'll be in business. I feel it in my body. I gained some weight. Like, you know, like when you wake up and you feel a little swollen after a day of eating something. Ah, the water retention. Maybe yes. I shouldn't have. How's that diuretic going? Uh, maybe too much sodium or whatever. How long till the break of it? I think there's one more after this and then the next one's the break I gained a bit. pound and I said, damn. But like I said, lifestyle change. Um, this isn't a failure. This is a day that's going to happen again in the future. It's going to happen again. And I have to learn how to wake up and continue towards success instead of wake up and repeat the same situation that I did the night before. Like normally I'd wake up and want to take out again instantly. But today I woke up and I said, okay, last night happened. Now let's get with these videos. So this was my trash. Well, our trash from last night. Also, 
of Lego trash in here, but Lego I ended up getting a McFlurry. I haven't had one in so long. Your Lego trash. Um, I had a fry and some cheeseburgers. Two cheeseburgers. <sighs> so I don't know. Oops. Transparency. So we're gonna throw away Oops. the trash together. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. I don't think we have a trash bag in the trash right now. So I'm gonna have to get another trash bag out. You know, I just I feel better not eating takeout for sure. True. It's a learning experience. Sure, absolutely. You know? That's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe Twinkie wants that trash. I know she's a big fan of eating several pounds of trash. Now it's in the trash. And I'm able to move on. Let me put this trash in the actual trash can. Guess what I did? Who doesn't put who doesn't immediately put a new bag in? Uh Feline when she's fucking over this bullshit. I finished my story night! Oh my god. She's a stunner. Just <laughs> fully like, you know what, babe? Go ahead. I don't give a fuck anymore. Get me something too. I don't even care. <laughs> Beautiful. I want to show you guys her up close. So I'm going to turn on this here light. Look at Oh my god. There's like major Oh, now, now I see some depth to it. That's pretty cool. 3D effect here. This is like one of my most and favorite. Believe it or not, it's not even an effect. That's just three dimensions. Legos I've ever done. Crazy. Like visually, stunning. Now I have to figure out where I want to put it. Hello, hello. I am actually sitting at my desk. I have not sat here in forever because I've been standing at it instead. But I'm trying to organize. You're standing at the standing desk? You mean you didn't do that thing where you make it go up all the way and then you scuttle underneath it? and get into your little seat and then bring it back down for your fucking high chair because i have this interesting uh, little what do you call it like a cabinet a drawer area i'm trying to organize some of that but i figured i would come on here because i'm just getting so many people like having conspiracies around every last thing that i say regardless of like what it is and it just gets heavy <laughs> it gets heavy it gets frustrating but I think with something as serious as my weight loss surgery, I definitely want to show receipts. Um, I'm actually going to be showing the emails between me and my dietitian. This is something that is like, Why? can't be faked. I could completely Why? get sued for faking that. something like this. The weight loss clinic knows about my- I don't need the emails from your fucking dietitian. I channel. really don't. They have seen my videos. <laughs> they have literally seen my videos. They know about me. Um, there is actually a couple people who literally work there or have worked there who know about me. Um, so me talking about my weight loss journey and everything around it, from the very beginning, everything has been completely true. You guys know that I changed my mind fast. <laughs> I am in and out of diets quicker than most people are in and out of their underwear. Well, let's be real. The fact that I wanted weight loss surgery for six months when there wasn't even a moment where I didn't want it is actually a big victory in my opinion and very new for me because I do. Interesting twist. Yeah, yeah, I bailed out on this one too. But look at how much farther I convinced myself I was actually going to do it. That's progress right there, guys. Look at how much closer I got to the deadline, you know, when people actually started booking me appointments and stuff. I change things. I fixate on things. I change my mind really fast. It's just who I am as a person. It happens with everything. This, this time I waited until people started financially depending on this actually happening. Thing <laughs> in my life. And the fact that I wanted weight loss surgery so bad that I paid for out of pocket for a lot of the tests because my insurance didn't didn't cover it um therapy out of pocket i have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars Atorid. trying to get weight loss surgery because it's truly what i wanted and the right. minute i realized i'm not ready this isn't something i want right now i knew because this isn't just oh i'm not ready to start that's sad that's sad that no one could get her out of her own fucking head like of course you're not ready. No one would ever be ready for such a ridiculous thing, but it's this is what you gotta do. That's just this is just the, what is going to happen. You're never gonna be okay, ready Jenny for Craig, it. No, this is like I'm not ready to go under anesthesia and have a large chunk of my stomach taken out. You, how no one could ever be ready for that. I'm not you ready just for have to that. fucking do it. And the minute I, I knew that, I kind of got scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And I pulled away a little bit and I still wanted to complete my therapy because that's important to me. Like I'm still seeing the same therapist. I'm not going to stop seeing him thoroughly love. <laughs> like I need, I, I need therapy. But when I realized I wasn't Dirty ready, water dogs. I knew I needed to vocalize Oh yeah. That oh, you gotta, too. you gotta, there's no, especially with the smart dogs or whatever. If you go in with those things, it's, they, they got no flavor to them. If you just boil them in water, my weight loss it's gotta team. be dirty and water. Me and my dietitian, we, let it soak. we correspond a lot through email. So I felt safe. 
I felt safe enough to tell her. So she's the person I chose to tell. Um, so I'm gonna show you the email I sent her and then I'm gonna show you the email she replied back with. God, fucking work to do. I wanted to touch base about my progress towards weightless surgery. <laughs> Recently, <clears throat> Recently, I've been feeling disassociated, dissociating with the whole process and no longer have positive emotions towards taking steps. This may be a temporary mind frame, but I want to give weight loss one last shot on my own. I want to continue using the tools you've all provided up until this point on my journey and will even be continuing with therapy. With that being said, I'd like to cancel my appointment this Thursday. I don't want to completely terminate my relationship with all, you all, as there is still the possibility in the future of continuing to move forward with this process, but I would genuinely appreciate the time to try to make this work on my own. If that was, if that was ever an option, that would have happened by now. Hey, left early. I thank you so much for the time and support you've given and absolutely look forward to providing some positive updates in the future. Don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions or concerns about my decision. Okay. <laughs> you don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Hello, Amber. Thank you for your email. I'll just, uh, the, the, I'll be the dietitian. I'm sorry to hear that you no longer have positive emotions surrounding next steps for surgery. I hope that this is not the result of failure on the part of the staff here. If it is, please know that we only have the best intentions for you and we want to support you in every way that we, we can. If you do have a complaint, I am happy to connect you with our director to voice them and address any issues present. You may already have his email, but just in case, it is redacted. We welcome any feedback on improving the program as well as your personal experience as much as possible. In no way at all does this terminate your relationship with us or the possibility of pursuing weight loss surgery with us in the future should you decide to do so. It takes a village to achieve most anything in this life. So true, so true. That was deep. Uh, once a patient, you are a patient for life. So if you ever need any additional guidance nutrition-wise, I and the other staff are still just a phone call or email away. Wow. How... Fucking accommodating is that? What a genuine response. <laughs> they're really, they're really torn up about this. Uh, that being said, I am still so proud of you. You have, be, you've come a very long way and I'm encouraged to hear that you are continuing your efforts towards achieving a healthier and more fulfilling lifestyle and relationship with food. Definitely keep it up. Keep us posted, and we are cheering you from the sideline. We wish you all the best. So and there was more emails that went back and forth between me and her after that, but those are just like the two main ones that began the conversation. So proud, of me not wanting so to do proud. weight loss surgery anymore. So many people still believe that either A, I was denied, which I wasn't, or B, that the weight loss surgery storyline was falsified, that it wasn't even real. And that's not true. Getting weight loss surgery isn't trying to choose what nail color it you doesn't want affect me either way getting weight loss surgery is a major decision and they even tell you that if you have doubts at all don't get the surgery don't get the surgery because you're gonna fail right and the fact that i was having so many doubts i did everything that they told me to do and that was one of the things and the fact that i was having so many doubts and i was so disconnected and i just did not want it anymore i know that i'm not ready i had to say something and i have shared a good chunk AI of this uh, generated weight loss surgery journey email. with you guys and oh it's just so God. insulting just for people to take all that vulnerability and just like throw it in the trash that goes with a lot of the things that i share and it's just discouraging it's so discouraging and it makes me want to put up a wall again and i've been trying to share more of myself with you guys and you know even today with the whole mcdonald's thing oh but people are so mean i don't want to share anything okay i want to share don't then i don't know share and i don't know it's just like really frustrating i don't know i just amberlynn and her and her viewing her audience as one hive mind that all thinks the same thing and it just contradicts itself constantly. I had to show you guys that. It was like something on my mind and I, I didn't know how else to respond to those things. So this is the best way I know how to do it is just speak up and show you guys the emails. 
Thanks for watching. Okay. You guys you guys ever uh you guys ever listen to Imposter New Mix? Good stuff it's by Willow Davis on all music streaming platforms. Okay, now we're on to Destiny Hurt Me, I'm Moving, Ozempic, Intimacy, Self Identity, Weight Loss Surgery, and more QA. Oh, it's a QA? That sounds like a big skip, actually. That sounds like a big skip. Uh, but let's give it a quick a taste test. Hey guys, see, welcome to See the video. vibe. So I haven't done like a Q&A on YouTube in a hot minute, or at least it feels that way. I don't know. So I figured let's do one. Let's I went onto Instagram way. and I had you guys asking questions and I'm doing it a little different this time. No Everyone say no Q&A? <laughs> in this box. Is Normally, that because there's actually nothing box. good in here? Or, uh, or, uh, oh, there's, there's Animal Crossing stuff? Yes, I have a crown. <laughs> It is what it is. All queens have a crown. So my friend actually came up with this idea. They're over here hanging out. They're kind of new to like the YouTube world. I tried to explain it to them and I was explaining like how it's my job and all that. They watched Ooh. some of my videos. Ooh. But I told them how like what my next video was. Friends? And then two and two came together and he was like, let me choose the questions. And as he was going through, he was like, I don't understand most of this. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> there's a lot of like inside things between me and YouTube and they were just confused. But what the side bang? Side bang moment? What's going on here? We're back to Destiny era? What is this? What is happening? Who is this? <laughs> a wig? Is this a wig? He chose questions, <laughs> wrote them on paper, folded them up, and put them in here. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know a single question that's in here. I, I know you're watching. You better follow the rules. I gave one rule. Her I said, friend. Have to have oh. All oh. Genres. Like a freaking movie. We need comedy. We need horror. We need education. We need lifestyle. We need romance. We need drama. Let's get into it. Here, hold the hey, Nikki <laughs> This is so funny. All right, let's do this thing. Would you rather live on a farm or on a boat? Definitely on a farm. Me and boats, we don't connect, which is crazy because as a young girl, I went on plenty of boats. I swam in the middle of the ocean, okay? Like, I had in no fear. In the middle? And now I'm Dead center of the Atlantic? Like, nope. Don't want to be anywhere near the water. If you could visit any time period, what would it be? The 1950s. Anyway. Them and those poodle skirts are too cute. Who is your favorite 90 days? Oh, you're right. The hair does have an interesting shine to it. A couple on this season of Before the 90 Days. Definitely Gino and Jasmine because it's just like drama to the extreme i'm just like what is happening jasmine ugh, honey you need help i mean a lot of us need help <laughs> for being honest but like wh what like if you guys watch before the 90 days like tell me shit ain't enough i'm over here like okay so doesn't want prenup um the will um the i will never eat up? meth again yes i ate meth i was 15 and eat it'll never meth. happen again no it will not can you make recipes at home like take out but instead i hope it was at least blue fake out oh <gasps> fake out wait that is so cute i love that idea like with like a like a like a spoon and some milk like <laughs> Be like a fake out. Oh, you had a bowl of nails for breakfast? Please. Wait, that's the only type of fake I like. What is your coming out story? With my mom, she was out to this. a letter in my pants. Yes. But she didn't tell me until months later. Um, she accepted it. She tried to make me feel better by saying, oh, I think women are hot. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Thank you for trying to make me feel better. With my dad, it was just one of those things where it's like, he like kind of knew, but I like never told him. So I, I agree it's unbearable, but I must hear Animal Crossing news. It's like... 24 when i just like flat out told him like i'm a lesbian and he was very accepting it's so weird because my dad actually used to be extremely homophobic like this is when i was a little girl uh, my grandma's actually a lesbian and i didn't know that when i was a little girl that's just like a whole whole other story long story yeah he was really homophobic when i was younger but like i'm telling you like two decades ago he has completely changed um he accepts me and i'm very grateful that i have like a full family who accepts me and i'm just very grateful for that like truly i can't say it enough and my heart goes out to the people who do come out and they don't have that like safe space it like breaks my heart are you continuing to heal from your past trauma yes yes i am i actually have not had a therapy appointment in like three weeks so i need to get on to oh you know who you can get some advice from about healing from past trauma destiny page cook Big fan of healing. I have my next one scheduled. What made you feel disconnected with your weight loss surgery journey? I let fear hardcore get in the way. And it was just like so many things kept telling Overcome. me don't do it. Don't do it. Like it was as if my gut was telling me like something bad is going to happen. And I don't know. I just like, I don't know. Something was telling me don't do it. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. I, I don't know if I 100% get into it right now, but there are just things just telling me not to do it. Like, I don't know. I definitely trust my gut a lot. Um, obviously I'm wrong sometimes. I also trust my intuition. Obviously I'm wrong sometimes. It just didn't, it just didn't feel right. What's one- Who was a lesbian? Her dad? No, no, no. Her grandma was the lesbian. Good habit you have accomplished. And at 15 she ate meth. Not her grandma, but Amber. In June that you will carry with you into July. Ooh, definitely eating at home more. Like less takeout, so many more like whole foods. And so many people like believe that they need to count calories. And her dad is name, it's George. George Lynn? Their food to lose weight, but it's just like, 
when I don't count calories and I'm literally just eating like whole foods and foods that like feel good. Whole foods. Listen, pick me up those brownies. Not for me. Jamie loves those whole foods vegan brownies. And nourish your body. I noticed that. I'd, if, you, if they got any of those uh, vegan donuts, though, I'll take one of those. Wait. The minute I start like counting them pesky calories and adding more like processed, obviously I'm not perfect, but adding more like processed and measuring everything, like I don't lose as much weight. So I feel like there is like a really big misconception. I feel like a lot of people do count calories because they do like the processed food. So if it works for you, I love that I routine know. right now. I don't. I actually don't. No you exercise routine? I know, I know. What are some ways that you found yourself identity? This is... This is this 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 feels somewhat manic. This Q and A. Maybe it's because I haven't sped up so much. Wow. You know what? I don't know who I am. <laughs> I was gonna try to come up with an answer, but I the hair. It's giving. It's giving. This is my new identity. I literally don't know who I am. I have no idea who I am as a person. I don't know my favorite color. I don't know my clothing style. I don't know. I don't know this, why. This feels like some kind of coping. They must have had a discussion about the breakup at this point. I feel like the only thing I do know. Listen, is I'd, I'd that, love to skip this video as much as the next guy. Uh, I'm passionate about things that like give me the frigid goosebumps. Like I know what type of music I love, and I can just feel my soul dance, and I can feel my, my soul, soul cry to certain songs, and just really truly feel it. I know that I love Legos, we gotta, and I absolutely adore do, animals yeah. and things like that. But like truly, I just don't know who I am. And when the, when the uh, Jerusalem hits, when the Miami Boys Choir hits, listen, I hear you. I hear ya. I really? Yeah. He love how she talks like she's gonna spear someone. Like she's gonna be featured on a documentary about success. So true. Visage qui lève les yeux. Whatever that was. M Melissa, thanks so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Very nice. You yeah, yeah. No, everything lately, she says it as if she's trying to convince herself that it's the honest to God truth. Like, it's like she's had an awakening, and this is, like, her new lifestyle. Like, I think if, she thinks if she says it out loud, then it'll definitely happen. Hoping that I will eventually find out. <laughs> like, trying to find the video where you first showed my invoice choir icon. <laughs> Did you find it? Like, I just feel like... Every I definitely day, pulled it up a couple of times on uh, Twitch, but there's clips Today is that. a new day to learn more about yourself and who you are, and... I'm 32 years old and I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, who is she? Who is Amberlynn Reed? <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'll ever even have an answer. How long do you think it's appropriate to be in a talking stage before dating? That depends. Yeah, like, everyone is completely different. Um, it depends we on know. how connected you guys feel, etc. Et I feel like gamer. you can talk to someone for two days and be ready to go on a date with them. For some people, you talk for a month and then you're finally ready. So it just depends on the circumstances, honestly. Why did you agree Great to talk to Destiny advice. at all knowing it wouldn't be good for you? Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't think my friend was going to choose any Destiny questions, but he did. I think I wanted like my own closure. I wanted I wanted my own closure, honestly. I have so many questions that I wanted to ask her and I didn't. I felt blindsided. A lot of people think that I was watching her live and I definitely was not. I had no idea that she was live. And then once she told me she was live, I said, okay. And then I guess her live ended or something because she said, okay, now we're talking in private. And she never told me she went back on live stream. When people that say, oh, those are Amberlynn's lying. true colors. That lying Destiny page cook. No, that's not what you saw. You saw a side of me that's very angry, very betrayed. Next wife, he's already hitting her up in DMs, probably, right? Betrayed. That's all it was. You you saw me talk to somebody who absolutely has betrayed me. That's someone that I used to love, who used to love me, who I've given my heart to, my body to, etc. Someone that I thought I was going to be with for. I really, I really, truly, and honestly thought we were over her me mentioning that she gave her body to Destiny. <laughs> this has been this has been documented so many times. Her declaring that she gave her body to destiny. I really thought so many years later that we were past her mentioning that she gave her body to destiny. <laughs> Trash, it is so good to see you. I, 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 I saw you had a very uh, busy, busy month with all those shows. Nice, nice pride month. Very cool. Very cool. How did it all go? Very, very long time who then betrayed me. So yeah, you saw the side of me. No, the breakup discussion's coming up, by the way. That was hurt. That was blindsided. That was extremely, extremely angry. And I've had a lot of people actually message me on Instagram saying, you handled that better than I would. I don't know what people are talking about. Like, of course you were a little bit of a bitch to her. Like, look what she did to you. And I look at it and I'm like, yeah, that's true. Like, you expect me to like respect Destiny after everything she's done to me. So it's like people coming out I of the world- I cannot get over the fucking hair. We're saying, oh, this is her true colors. No. It would be one thing if she, like, switched it up from time to time. Like, you know, I switch it up a lot. Whatever I'm doing with my hair, it grows and I don't cut it and whatever. 
It's just a little. So you never know what you're gonna get with me. With her, it's like this has been years. Side of me, as humans, we are complex. There's several sides to us. I mean, I probably have over 300 sides to me, and you happen to just see a side. That 300 come sides? Does what do you think? Fucking it's a sphere. Fortunate that I was on a live stream. <laughs> It is what it is. Like, I don't think anyone watching me right now can look me in the face and say they have never been angry at someone and vocalized anger. Where do you see yourself a year from now? I just hope that I'm happy and healthier than I am now at a lower weight. And I am- Co-hosting Big Will Come International Pride. Oh, very cool, very in, cool. In whatever goal I have for myself. And I am being successful in that. Any new games you're currently obsessed with? Oh my God. <laughs> see what we got here any game any new games you're currently obsessed with whoever asked that thank you so much whoever asked Amberlynn that question really appreciate it really appreciate it really? here we go gamers she's trying to horizontally par horaire Nicole why thanks so much for the super chat horizontally part here oh yeah she does oh yeah what is she she usually just has it like up in a bun or whatever right? it's not usually parted right is that a term? I don't know. Amber, the big Dark Souls player. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm actually just uh, finishing off my Deathless run in um, Elden Ring. It's so hard, but uh, I'm down to only uh, three deaths per run. So, back when Restaurant Story, this is an app, by the way, on my iPhone. I don't know if Android has it. I'm sure they do. But back when it came out, I think Restaurant it came out like Story? the fuck is mobile games aren't real fucking games I'm 10 i was obsessed. Life. like my restaurant was banging and i kind of sort of started playing that again it's been a couple days well that's not new is obsessed. it so restaurant story for sure and i've been messing with my little animal crossing again so that's been okay really the mentioning the messing with is making me feel like she just kind of like hit it up one or two times and that was it fun too have you ever thought of doing an inspiration board for your goals instead of journals Ooh, that's really a good was idea was that it for the animal crossing stuff done an inspiration board i might have to give that a go and if i do do it i will Our definitely Roblox block it restaurant was what are your favorite ways of de-stressing legos 100 i've been back into journaling a lot too so that helps Singing, wwe I championships for real gamers no 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 uh, WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 is for real gamers. Right on the Xbox 360. Love to sing. Also, ASMR. It's the last one that's got Chris Benoit in it. What's the point after that? Our certain ASMR videos are super calming as well. Is intermittent fasting actually helping? <laughs> yes. Oof. I could definitely say that it is because for that chunk of time, those 16 hours where it's like I'm not allowed to eat, it like helps me not think about food. Who are your favorite Animal Crossing villagers? Oh, I don't pick favorites. No. <laughs> oh, you oh you like Animal Crossing? Name two of your villagers. No mom picks favorites. It's Judy. She likes Judy. Mm -hmm. I bet. How was your first time getting spicy? Some one, one of those. He was one of those classic ones. How was your first time getting spicy with Feline? Please don't fucking answer that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> um, I was shy. Let's just say that. I was shy, but it felt really good. It felt like fire. What did Chris Benoit do? Something bad? <laughs> yeah, he got canceled. It, it felt was like, no good. I don't know. It just felt really good. Are you planning on moving you won't sooner believe now it. that weight loss surgery isn't a factor? Yes. Yes, I am. Will we ever get a full apartment tour? Yeah, like maybe before I move. Do you think it was partly anxiety that made you delay weight loss surgery see i wouldn't correlate that with weight loss surgery i never felt like anxiety or like anxious regarding weight loss surgery so okay. i'm gonna say no should i show my fiance my wedding gown i'm too excited to hide it from him Chris oh Benoit no, 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 no. Reaction video? don't no, don't do it no. don't do it can we see your animal crossing island yes i've been meaning to show you guys but i keep forgetting i will say my animal crossing island on this island is by far my favorite did she restart what the fuck because i used to play animal crossing on like the original animal crossing game what is the original animal crossing game do you we're talking about Nintendo fucking GameCube. We're talking about Nintendo GameCube. She canceled weight loss surgery because she doesn't have a caretaker now. 
I guess that's one of the things that the people are saying, right? It's either... I guess it could have gone either way. Either she canceled the weight loss surgery because they broke up, or they broke up because she canceled the weight loss surgery. Will we ever know? Maybe not. Feline tell-all? Not a lot of people know that. Whatever the, oh my god, imagine, yeah, imagine she's talking about fucking pocket camp. Get the fuck. <laughs> Pocket camp? Fuck that shit. I'm a real gamer. People think that Animal Crossing came out during the pandemic for the first time ever. And I'm what the fucking no, I'm not kicking not what is this fucking world that I am getting delivered Animal Crossing lore from Amberlynn? Please God <laughs> let this not be happening. That Amberlynn's fucking schooling me on the history of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm like, no. Tell me you haven't played Animal Crossing. Yeah, it, would you talk to a five-year-old? Without telling me you haven't played Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the Animal Crossing gatekeeping here? What is the gatekeeping? Who's this? Is that a Tucker Tony? Hi. Oh, Micah, what a lovely little cat right here. You can't see him, unfortunately. And there's Dustachino, and there's a puppy dog. There's no way I can show this. Can you guys, can you guys be on camera? Come on, Tucker, come here. Oh my God, Dustin just did a big gun. Guys, there's so much room right here where you could could be on the camera. They're gone. They're gone. Anyway. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this history lesson on Animal Crossing from Amberlynn. <sighs> How are the animals coping with the breakup? Is yeah, deleting uh, Feline off of her island. <laughs> no, um, that was just a new Animal Crossing. I've been oh, playing Animal Crossing for oh my god since I like lived in Virginia, so it's been. Oh, oh, you played it on the Nintendo GameCube. Oh, would you play it on the Nintendo DS? Oh, would you play it on the Nintendo Wii? Oh, would you play it on the 3DS? Did you get Happy Home <laughs> Designer? Would you get the Pocket Camp? There's no shirt, Toxic Lake the souvenir shirt. Get it, get it from my merch shop. Forever. What is yours and your girlfriend's top inside okay. joke? Oh, oh, you, oh, you've been playing, playing it for decades and decades. Okay, name it. Name the game that you played. Huh? Huh? Charlie Ryan. Thanks, thanks for 23 months of membership. Are Dustin Tucker okay after the ALR breakup? I actually didn't tell them yet. Tucker. He's cleaning himself right now. I don't want to ruin his day. Dustin's sleeping. Is it? A... I'm gonna have to just break it to him after. Really? Yeah. Revlonage des kisseuses. Nicole, why? Thanks for the super chat. Revlon HD kisses. Appreciate it. <clears throat> She got to kick Fauna off her island now. Now it's too real. Oh my god, the fucking deer. <laughs> and the story behind it. Oh, that's hard. Girlfriend's top inside joke and the story behind it. To choose, because there's so many. Are we and good you know now? now? Is this, about it, are we it done with this video now? Anymore. If I told you all about it, now would it? It would be an outside joke. And I'm going to keep it on the inside. Who's a YouTuber you classify as a guilty pleasure? Shane Ooh. Dawson. Trisha this Paytas. This might actually... <laughs> H3. Oh. Okay. Before anyone comes for me, this is a Jake new Paul. guilty pleasure. Okay? I don't know any backstory on this person. So if they've ever done anything bad and they need to be Pink canceled, sparkles. I don't know about it. Carly okay? Your Steel. mama. <laughs> yep. It's My your fucking mama. what? I started watching Willow it. Davis. Imagine... A guilty pleasure YouTuber I love, Wadalber. I've seen all 101 episodes. Um, literally probably six days ago. And I don't know, he, uh, that laugh though, like it's just entertaining white noise while I'm doing chores. I just have him going. Um, okay. And he's like realistic in the way that he thinks from what I've seen. 
like I said, I've only been watching him for like six days now. So if he's done anything in the past, don't come for me because I don't know. I don't know about it. I don't know anything about him. <laughs> Would you consider getting back on Ozempic? I've actually thought about okay, it. Okay, the the, uh, the planned ignorance is uh, see, the whole an interesting is, take on that. Like I didn't choose. Listen, don't tell me if he did anything wrong because I'm enjoying watching him. To stop taking it, I was like advised to stop taking it by my doctor because of my pancreas and my gallbladder. I loved Ozempic. Ozempic like worked. Um, there was some symptoms obviously that were uncomfortable. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 Zampic. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy oh. it, but I feel like it was worth it in my opinion. But my doctor did not think so. Very up in the air. I will say that. What do you think is your biggest Are we done with this one? Flaw? flaw? Is Super there anything emotional. else good like, in this? I am probably overly emotional. I don't know. Some oh, people might not oh, consider that a flaw. Oh, like, oh, I don't Zampic. consider crying or whatever it may be to be weakness. Yeah, oh. But I feel like maybe other people do. So, my strength. What is my biggest strength? Wow. Probably that, like, I've gone through so much and somehow I think the I'm next, still able the to, The like, next video is the breakup one, right? Style. There's breakup lore? Okay, I'll try to pay attention. I'm still able to turn on this here camera and just did do I, anything. Did I skip something or did you just go by that fast? This is the night they break up? Alright, I'll pay attention. Hold on. Ah, okay, all right, I'm back in it, I'm back in it. Like, I've gone through so much, whether it be in my past or present or whatever, like, I just, I don't know how, I can still smile. I know that's, like, really deep. Um, sometimes oh, I'm just like, how am I, I still standing? I don't know why. It doesn't even yeah, matter my strength how is hard that? you try. I have strength. Why is your skin inside? always glowing? Huh? Skin my skin is glow. not glowing. Is my skin glowing? No way. My skin is so dry. Any plans for the 4th? I wouldn't say it is. So, 4th of July literally is today. I it's would today. say it's quite matte, in fact. <laughs> day we're filming this before i go watch some fireworks i went to a little party moment fuck fireworks fuck the fireworks i hate them take the fireworks shove them up your ass and light them don't do, i mean don't do it don't do it because it's it's very dangerous and would kill you but that's how i feel um on friday night and about, then on saturday i went to my friends and then on sunday um i had some friends come over here so Matt that's why I'm not really, i've been super freaking busy but um tonight is just me and Feline. favorite purchase of all time Ooh, see, I've purchased a lot of things. I'm just gonna say my camera. I love having me a camera, okay? It's the Canon G7X, if you guys are curious. Mark II, love it. Most vloggers use it. That's what I'm currently using now. Oh, that is so relevant to current Wadalber. She just got it and is complaining about it relentlessly. Tucker has his paws around Dustin's neck, gripping it tightly and is licking the side of Dustin's head. How are you dealing with the pressure from people wanting to push weight loss? Really? Yeah. Nicole Uneven chin mulm. With another one. Thanks for the super chat. Uneven chin mulman? <laughs> oh, are you talking about like, didn't she have like one, one spot? I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about, Nicole? Why? Thanks for the super Great chat. You. I mean, I'm dealing. I see Do you even have vlogging camera? No, no. I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna video myself out and about I use my phone, um, but I don't like apologize for it and be like sorry guys the phone the camera like makes the lighting really bad. Seems like like I, you just get what you get, which is I would I would respect Amber Lynn if she was just like the camera using the camera is too hard it's so much easier to use my phone if she just said that and that was it that would be Majority respectable because that's what i do um and i mean the haters the trolls the people who aren't here for good reasons they want the opposite of what i want i have been doing this for 10 years now so i know that based on experience like that's a fact whenever i want something or whenever i don't want something um if i want it they don't want me to want it and then if i don't want it they want me to want it <laughs> so it's I just got to mention again, Amberlynn, uh, seeing her entire audience as, uh... <laughs> What if you dump me underneath the 4th of July fireworks? Mm. Visage tout rouge, imagine, visage narquois. <laughs> imagine the vibes. What? You're what? You wanna, you wanna go? You wanna go home? Oh, you wanna, oh, you wanna leave. Oh. <laughs> We're done? Are you, t you... Do you want to go to bed? You said you're done? <laughs> Karina, thanks so much for the uh, the tip there. I appreciate it. It's just what I'm used to. It is what it is. I'm dealing. But no one's going to push me 
into paying almost 30 grand to get majority of my stomach taken. Oh, oh, anyway, but yeah, she she sees her audience as one collective hive mind that constantly cr- contradicts itself. You guys told me you wanted weigh-ins, and then I p- upload a weigh-in, and you guys tell me to stop with the weigh-ins? Like, that was two different fucking people. Taken out of me. No one's gonna push me to do that. That's you ultimately want take my Would you appear you as a said... guest on H three podcast? I have thought about this because so many people have asked me this out? question, and it just depends on why Ethan wants me there. Like, why do you want me there? And then we'll talk. What's the moment you felt most proud of yourself? Honestly, probably either when I graduated high school because I was the first person in my family ever. Like, I can't even say in generations, no, like ever, to graduate high school. And now, since me, there has been several others to do so. So I'm very, very happy about that. So just graduating high school. I know for a lot of people that's so easy. That's a breeze. Not where I come from. <laughs> not where I come from. So I was very, very proud of that. I think just like also going okay. to college, um, I didn't complete it because I moved. If I wouldn't have moved, I would have completed it. Of course, I didn't stop going because I disliked it or whatever it may be. I actually thoroughly enjoyed college. Uh, oh, you could have transferred. You could have transferred. Um, it's just I moved across the country and whatever it may be. But um, you could have continued the scam. I will say like everything that I've been really proud of myself for has always been like school related. Oh, shoot. This is the last question. Is it a grand finale question? Any upcoming date plans for you and your girlfriend? I guess tonight going to see the fireworks. Oh. Zang! That was a lot of questions. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Some of these questions I would- Here it comes, here it comes. This is got plans tonight. We're going to see the fireworks. I think she's gonna propose, imagine. That would be that would be pretty her. rough. That would be pretty fucking rough, imagine. For myself, I feel like we did get a little bit of, you know, comedy. We got a little bit of like romance. We got a little bit of drama. We got a little bit of it. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Should I hire my friend to be the question Can man? We get some action though. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Now it's time, everybody. Now no one has to come in and ask, wait, did I miss the breakup stuff? Because here it is. And it's only a 10 minute video. Is everyone ready? Oh, Dustin got up from the bed back here and Holly immediately went right in to soak up the warmth. Are we ready? Are we ready? Get your beverage, get your sodi. Prepare yourself. We're not speeding this one up. We're gonna soak it in, okay? We are ready. Break up time. Break up time. Can we get a theme song? Is this thing on? This thing on, this thing on. What's the what's the theme? Oh, sorry, Dusty Chino. What are you doing? You okay? I sorry. I had to put my foot over here to get the uh, the pedal going, the sustain pedal. You alright, Dusty Chino? <laughs> it's really scared him. Butt rock? How would how would it be a butt rock? Everyone's relationship at the bottom of the sea. I don't know. Let's. I guess I'll just. No, no, no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I don't- I have no fucking idea, guys. I have no clue. Amberlin and Feline. The time would come. Oh, and it just cut out. Usually- usually I have to let it cook for a second before I do anything. Time would come to break up clean. It was the 4th of July. The scene was romantic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Zach's dearly beloved. Oh my god. All right. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> no, no time. No time for this. We've all been waiting a long time.
<laughs> yeah, can I get some booze? Can I get some booze in the chat? <laughs> All right. Um. Here we go. Here we go. We broke up. You ready? You ready? Phone's at 6%. Well, we better get this going then. The song from Halo. <laughs> okay, people are waiting. People are waiting. We can't. There's no time. I don't even remember it now. Oh. There we go. Okay, I'm not doing not doing the whole thing there. But wouldn't it be nice if I still got the I don't remember I don't remember it unfortunately. There we go. You guys put me on the spot. This is never forget by the way. Fuck! Really? Yeah. Falling day to Amber, what Amber did to Trixie. Halo 3, never forget. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Halo theme? Oh. <laughs> Hello. You forgot, never forget? Yeah, I know, embarrassing, right? Okay, great start. Great start with the hello. I would have liked to. Hey guys. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Damn. Damn, there's some glassy eyes. Okay. <clears throat> hello. So I don't know if I'm gonna regret this, but I don't know. It's like a little video diary. <laughs> But, um, really? Yeah. The dramatic Clayote really sells the breakup. That's true, Cookie Whoopie Pie. Ooh, that sounds lovely. My bills, my bills are paid. <laughs> Feedback never one last drive through the local car wash with the sun roof open. She could not even be bothered to change Pookie's shirt before she booked her way ticket to New York, though. She'll be in that shirt until the next caretaker is hired. Wow. I'm what? Five guys. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> no, really. Thank you so what much. What was that? Okay, first of all, Cookie Whoopie Pie. Thanks for Super Chat. The dramatic lighting is great. Yeah, the side, just all lighting coming from the one side there. Uh, you get the real, the contrast. You see all the, all the texture on her face. Very, very raw. Very raw. I like it. I like it. Karina. Drive through the local car wash with the sunroof open. She couldn't even bother to change Pookie's shirt. Porn's booked in one way. God damn. She's going to New York? <laughs> God damn. Brutal. Corey, thanks so much for the tip there. All right. Pauline and I have broken up. Um, it was mutual. Uh, in the last, last vlog, you were like, you were like giddy. Making silly little jokes with her. I don't know. Maybe maybe this was just agreed upon a long time ago. I don't know. I have my freaking headphone thing in. It just... <sighs> it was mutual. And... Is anyone else just flabbergasted that every time she ends a relationship, she leaves up the entire series of her vlogs that are all about the relationship? 
Like, like I feel like most people would take that shit down. Like, oh yeah, that's not part of my life anymore. But, you know, here we are still enjoying them, so I guess I can't be complaining. <laughs> like, oh, and say- Gang Mantis, thank you for uh, becoming a member. I appreciate it. Please, Desk Trixie, so my last super chat makes sense. Please, what? Trixie, Trixie Eric's dog? <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Oh, did I? Oh, I guess I didn't ever see that one. Feline did to Amber what Amber did to Trixie. Okay. You, you, I, I see now. I see now. Uh, if you go back to uh, a pretty recent Wadalber of my recent upload, um, you can see the clip of Amberlyn g- flicking through some journals. That or a journal that she bought. It's like a fitness and lifestyle journal she bought, and she was going through all the different features of it. Or whatever. Trixie, the dog, Eric and Ricky's dog, comes comes walking over to get some attention on on the bed that she, that Amberlyn's laying on. And like she's like, okay, so we got this part where this you write each day the thing. Oh, there's a dog here. Uh, just fucking, just like toss backhand tosses Trixie away, and just like she like she's like a she's like a dachshund, so she like flips over on her back, and she's just like, oh okay, and like walks away. <laughs> you saying Feline was just like, eh. I'm done with you. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Anything I was wearing yesterday. Like, into the I didn't have makeup. Like, yes. I yeah, yeah. Threw her into the Gracie first. I cried it all off completely. Okay. It was mutual. And, like, I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing yesterday. Like, I did have makeup. Like, I have cried it all off completely. Can we play the video? I just. I can't stop crying. I feel like I'm mourning like a death. I like don't knowing know, that I don't one know the day, exact like, spot. I'm just gonna wake up and she's not there. It's um Okay, but how long does she have to sleep in the same bed until that happens? Do we do we have like a timeline for the still making her sleep in the same bed? Does she get the Becky room? What's going on with the Becky room? Is that freed up at this point or what? Is any of Becky's stuff still in there? Should, can we just move Feline into there for a little bit? Or uh, what's what's the deal with that? <laughs> it's a different different type of pain because, like, I envisioned my whole future with her, and I know she did the same. And this was mutual. Um, what happened? There has like I'm gonna speak for myself. There has okay, but can we get Feline on a couple of live streams at least uh, to discuss some of the tea? Then <laughs> can we start just finish up her payments for the month and uh some things she'll that be out? just like I don't have to go into detail. Love You're just right. isn't enough sometimes, and. I just, I know. Really? Love is enough. Please turn the Becky room into a theme Airbnb. Charlie Wright, thanks so much for super chat. Becky room into a themed Airbnb. Oh my god, imagine if Becky's decorations were still up. Oh my god, it could be like a, yeah, it, it could be like a, it could be like, yeah, spend a night as Becky. You get a, take a week vacation living Becky's life post breakup. That would be something. Set up the Nintendo 64 or something. What I'm worth. And I know it might not be, like, a lot to some people, but I know, like, what I deserve. And I know what I want. And I just need to be single. I literally have cried. Yeah, is Felina be shipping in the background now? Oh, man, there's, there's the, the jokes are just... It's just limitless. You guys are coming up with such good stuff here. Post breakup, few. I was gonna say, ain't wiping no booty. 
Oh, my head hurts so bad. Sorry. <laughs> I have done nothing but literally cry. And the first thing she said was mutual three times. That's pretty rough. And cry and cry and cry for the last, like, 24 hours. This happened literally before fireworks last night. I don't oh, know. Oh, my God. The timeline. To say, like... I know there's probably going to be a lot of... Can you, like, explain what the, the exact moment, what was said? I would love some of that People context. questioning and saying you seem so... I mean, you've already come this far making a video about it. You might as well just spill it. So happy and, yeah, like, the relationship I had with Feline was literally the most passionate relationship I've ever been in. But, but don't forget that you gave your body to destiny. You won't let us forget that bit. But on both sides of the spectrum. Both. On both sides. And really? I just... Yeah. Sometimes love just ain't enough next to the Albert cover song ideal. There you go. Not the music. That's a good one. That's a good one, Jen. I appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. I'm going to have to remember that. Somebody, somebody fucking remind me of that. It's gotta be. I like the relevant ones. The choking on a tater one was pretty good. She's my best friend, and it's like she wants to help me with this move. I will be moving. She will be moving. Um, we have a timeline of when that's gonna be happening, and I just look around at everything and. It's like I look over in my kitchen and I'm like, that's the first place she kissed me. But then there's also probably a bad memory in that same spot. You know, it's like not everything like is perfect behind the scenes. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Bad memory? Were they fighting? I don't know. Why we broke up. Um, it's personal. And then what are you doing here? Doesn't matter why we broke up as personal. Why is there a fucking 10 minute, 22 second video on it? Come on, if you're here already, tell me what happened. And we Something happened, I'm really not ready to talk about it yet. Both have our own reasons. She threw a code red at wifey. It didn't happen. It did not happen. But she's, she's my other half of my heart and I'm the other half of hers. <laughs> eating at some point. I'd hope you're planning on eating all that cooking. But we can't be in a relationship. I just don't even know what to say. Like, I just got off the phone with my mom and talked to her because I just needed someone. I needed, I just needed someone that isn't her, you know? Because right, Feline is right. my best friend, and I'm her best friend, and Call it's like, destiny. it's kind of hard to... Exactly, some girl Becky and her broke up. I mean, that was, that was pretty recently in the timeline. I I can't believe we're back here again after the Becky break. Well, I feel like that was so recent, but I don't know. Time's going way too fast since the pandemic. To the person that you're losing. After you got the tattoo, too. Oh my god, you're so right, the tattoo. Even though Feline and I both have been crying literally all day, I have never, ever, ever, ever seen her cry this much. And even just calling her Feline is so hard because Bambi and Feline, like, it's not a thing anymore. All I also right. think, like, I'm partially in shock. Time flies when you don't see a bitch on camera, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I, I <laughs> it's your word. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> it's like, how do I go on? Guys, it was just so mutual. It was literally heartbreaking. I, I literally just feel like, like, something I've always experienced is like, when I experience heartbreak... <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, Maya. Yeah, she was binging on fucking Delta 8 gummies. Guys, I actually overdosed on Delta 8. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I feel it physically. 
Like, it physically feels like I've lost... Checking myself into rehab <laughs> from these Delta 8s. Like... So there's something to cut the pain. A limb. Or... I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it just... It feels like... I was hit by a truck. Oh my god, a fucking way too much Delta 8 live stream would be so annoying. A million times over. Just repeatedly, over and over and over. Like, I just feel like I can't... You feel like, what? It's like... I was hit by a truck... A million times over. Like a Mac Just repeated. How would you describe the pain on a scale of 1 to 10? A 10? You off a gummy right now? No. No, no, no. No, no. Over and over and over. Should I be? Like, I just feel like I can't live without her, but I know that I have to because it's just... Like, just, I know, I know what I deserve. Even though sometimes I, like, I act like I hate myself, like, I act like it. There's a part of me that cares. And I care about Feline as well. It's like, she deserves the fucking world. And it's like, I could only give her a part of it. <laughs> I could only give her a part of it when I want to give her the whole thing. <laughs> Am I breaking up? You know what? I kind of am. I kind of am. I just, I don't want to, like, shower. I don't want to, like... Oh! I don't want to do anything. I kind of just want to, like... Oh, you eat. don't want to shower? <laughs> so it must not be that bad, then. If <laughs> nothing's changed, am I right? Why are we putting ones in the chat? <laughs> I want to eat. I just want to eat. I just want to turn to food. Why I want to numb it out. Why I are there ones in the chat? I'm just lost. Because like I said, I don't know who I am. And I'm just ready to be... Why are there single. ones in the chat? And I'm going to be living on my own. And... Ooh. Ooh. That's fun. That's fun. That's a fun twist to this whole thing. I didn't consider that. Ooh. Ooh, she better be making some quick work finding a new one or else it's going to be going to be living alone Lynn. That'll be so interesting. God, those are going to be some terrible videos though. But the change of pace will at least be somewhat interesting. Who will take care of Twinkie? Uh no one. She's on her own eating several pounds of trash. For to survive, I guess. Who's gonna walk Twinkie? No one. No one's walking Twinkie. And We're getting mukbangs back. Yes. Yeah, say good. where. I don't want to say when. Got to get that deposit back, you know. But as much as YouTube has like. On another bonus, maybe we'll get some Animal Crossing content with all this free time she'll have. Jessica. Get those Legos finished, huh? You fucked with me in my life. It has also... YouTube's fucked with you? ...been one of the most amazing things that I am so grateful for. And it's like, Seattle. for me, talking... Hello, Seattle. Just talking and talking and talking is so therapeutic. And it helps me understand myself. I know a lot of people aren't like that. They're not an open book. Um... But YouTube has been there for me for a decade, and it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. So, I want to document, you know, everything to the best of my ability. Document. Um, obviously, I'm not going to share everything. Document. Real personal stuff, because why we broke up, it doesn't matter. Going to set up her phone to point at the TV while she's playing Animal Crossing? I think pointing at the TV is far too generous, Trash. More like, more like point the phone or the camera or the phone or the webcam at her handheld switch and she's not going to remove the Joy-Cons. She's just, just going to be holding it 
It's actually hard to show. It happened, though. And... She wanted an open relationship? They said at the beginning, didn't they? I just... I have to move on. I have to move forward. And so does she. And it just feels... It feels like a nightmare. It feels... The viewer who sent her five hundred dollars worth of Bath and Body Works and a love letter is already on the plane to Lexington. Oh my god! It's like an absolute nightmare. But I know that it has. You think to. she's gonna go figure out where to plug in the fucking HDMI on the on the Switch dock? To happen, and I have to keep reminding myself of that. That it has to happen, and I have to keep a healthy distance from her because, like interesting change of pace here she's still trying to hug me and stuff like that and i have to tell her like i can't i can't like it hurts too bad no hugs but we still get to sleep in the same bed and in the past like i i didn't want my ex to not sleep in the she's on a midnight train to florida <laughs> God, every, all these things I've just not played in so long. <laughs> just in the bed with me, but I don't want her in the bed with me. And I slept without her last night, and it was horrible. Oh, without? I have very, very, interesting, very... Interesting. Interesting change in dynamic here. Oh, my God. Look at all these tired pets. It is a fucking hot one today. Bad abandonment them. issues. Like, this is due to, like, childhood shit. Like, I have been abandoned. You know, I was abandoned during the time of your life when you shouldn't be. Right, So I right. have a lot of, like, fears that are irrational, but also very rational I hate sleeping alone. I hate it more than anything. Right, but I right. know that I have to detach myself from certain things. Right. And I have to be strong. I have to do this. It's freaking hard. It's terrifying. The unknown. Everything that I have to do. All the I's I have to dot. All the T's I have to cross. Now that just sounds like some some word vomit. Why dot your dot your eyes and cross your T's? That's like that's like I I that's like walking on thin ice or something. That's like the similar kind of phrase. You have to be very careful just to get to my destination. And I mean that like Physically, but also figuratively, metaphorically, whatever it may be. It's just there's so much. Are we hiking to the destination? And I don't know. I just feel really freaking lost right now. And I need a shoulder. I need a shoulder to cry on. None here. But I don't have None anybody. here. Sorry. I don't have anybody here. I got nothing. Sorry. Not... Kentucky's not for me. Best of never luck, has though. Been for me. Sorry, I couldn't help. I came here for somebody, stayed here for somebody. Destination? My destination? Destination? I was stuck here with somebody. All three different people. And now I get to be free. And that's, uh... That's wild. Be free. That's wild. I don't know, you guys. I'll keep you updated, but that's kind of all I have for now. I'm going to go cry in a pillow or something. Dear diary. No, that's sad. Dan, you think this video is any good? You think this one's any good? If we watch that? Free like a bird, maybe a pigeon. So true, so true. Now that hits deep. That hits pretty deep. Am I right? <laughs> well, goddamn. 
Gonna have to pick up a Dainty Goral accessory pouch for eighteen dollars as a consolation. Make she's got to reach that destination, you know. Play Freebird can't can't do it. Can't do it. Um, we appreciate all the things Feline did for Twinkie Star, and for Rarity Gray and Wasabi Dot. Um, they kept the house clean. They kept, you know, uh, just very boring from like a content consuming perspective. She never appeared on camera. Stand up. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So anyway. That's what I get for moving the mic. Uh, it doesn't go up further than that. So I'm just gonna be like this. We thank, we thank Feline for her contribution to the Amberverse. Um, that being said, get on out of here because we got... Uh, a chance for some actual interesting stuff coming up. Let's let he. Got, are we good? Good. We good now. We fucking good. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So, like I was just saying, someone's got to do the wiping now. Uh, we're gonna have to figure that out. It's not gonna be me. It's like it's like when they have to find a new pope. You know, like everyone's just like frantically scurrying for the answers here. I mean, how many days can we go without a wipe? We gotta wait till the till the smoke comes out of the chimney or whatever, and we'll know. A, a new wiper was found. Shout out to my friend Cheerio. She loves you. Cheerio! Thanks so much for, for watching. Be good. Be good to six bacons. <clears throat> Babe, no more fleen? We're gonna. A brief era of no baby! Is there a chain of command slash hierarchy? Um, I don't know. They they must they must have to have some backup ones on standby. Might have to like have like a stand-in for a little bit if one can't be found soon enough. Might have to like get Sharla back in here, or like, or like Libby or Nick or something. You know, maybe maybe Eric and Ricky's beans, the beans, the other beans. Maybe they can help out. Take some of the slack on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hannah and Rafe. More like hand and a wipe, am I right? Uh, <laughs> Lexington's gonna be real rank till we get a new caretaker. Listen, uh, this has been great. I'm thrilled to have caught up with all of this. Uh, let's see, what, what's, what's Dana up to? God only knows. It's between her and God. Um, <laughs> wellness check on Charla? Didn't everyone hate Charla? Uh, here's the deal. This, this should be up to, to view immediately after this. Unless there's some kind of weird issue. So if you missed out, who will walk twonk? Nobody. Nobody. She's on her own. Amberlynn will just open the door and stand out there. Stand in the doorway while Twinkie goes and lets herself out like they used to do. Charlotte was a rat. <laughs> Dana busy cheating on all her partners. Alright, fair, fair. Uh, so this will be up to review if you missed it. It should be pretty, unless there's some kind of weird copyright issue or something. You never know. You never know. Twinkie gonna pull a Gracie? I got help not. Well, I don't know. Dorchester driver's white friend. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging. Um, 
If you liked this, twitch.tv slash Willow Davis, I go live there a couple of times a week. Usually we're catching up on the latest Amberlynn stuff on there, and then checking out some K's cooking and other stuff like that. Got another channel, Willow Davis Games, here on YouTube. Some gaming stuff on it. I just made a Threads, the thing by like Facebook and Instagram, but it's supposed to be Twitter replacement. Find me there. And uh, thanks for all the super chats, all the all the Streamlabs donation things. Appreciate it. All the members, thank you so much for being a member and getting almost nothing in return. At least you can now use the Amberlin drinking wine little emote in my live streams and in the comments of my videos. That's a bonus. <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, you could get you can get the toxic lake uh, of souvenir merchandise from my from my merch site. All that good stuff. Catch up on Wadalber if you haven't yet. The hundred and one episode so far series of uh, Amberlynn Becky era retro reacts. Cobra reacts. I was gonna do one today, but I had some other shit to do. But. You can expect that soon, probably. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get more code. We'll get more. I saw there was a couple of dank food hacks recently, anyway. So you know I gotta get to that. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Um, stay wiping. Stay wiping. All right. Have a great night. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do this again soon. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs>